All right, what's up, audience? What's up, people? What's up, fans? Now, remember, um, number one, I'm a mega superstar and a celebrity. You all can't talk to me. I am not accessible to the public. All right, I speak publicly and I get paid for it. Okay? If you do not speak publicly and get paid for it, you are below me. Okay? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I never, ever need validation from anyone, especially... I never, ever take any disrespect off of nobody, okay? So all of you are becoming well acquainted with me, right? And I'm enjoying every bit of it. Trust me. Like, believe me, I'm enjoying it. I I, I love when, when, when nerds and suckers try to hate on me. I love that. Like, just being honest. Like, I love it, bro. I'm loving every minute of this. Like I said, y'all don't do nothing but help me. Like, it doesn't matter which angle you go in. Any way you try to move, anything that you do, whatever, any angle that you try to come at me, all you people, you're going to lose. Just understand that. And all you're going to do is help me more. You feel me? You don't You don't understand, bro. Like, I'm really exposing y'all. I'm really making a fool out of you, and I'm showing that you're breaking the law, right? So all this talking about blah, 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 repeating words, all that, yeah, that plot didn't work. So at what point are we going to make sense here? You can't just sit there talking to somebody right, in front of them, repeating their words. People don't play that. That's not going to happen. So now that you know that you can't do that and y'all can't disrespect me, right, and we've completely established that, where was I wrong? No, I told you. I don't play that. I don't let people mouth off to me, especially if they're delusional. You not only going to come correct talking to me, I don't care where I'm at. I don't care who you are. I don't care ever, bro, like... Like, literally, bro, you might as well go disrespect, like, you might as well just go to a zoo, like I said, and go go mess with the with the lions and the bears. Real talk. I mean, like, I just don't understand what people think. Y'all is not, like, you're not about to start that game. You have to understand this. Like, you got to understand something, bro. There is a huge difference between reality, which is what I'm in and what I represent, and you all's delusion. Okay? Now... You want to sit here, and this is what people do who are petty, especially narcissists. I have no interest in this. I don't care what they're talking about. But since you narcissists, that's my nickname for narcissists, narky narcy. Since you narkies want to sit here and you want to say things that are frivolous and don't exist, and you want to act like you're having basically um, competitions that don't exist. Number one, how, how would you dictate my value? Of who I am. And how would you tell me what kind of person I am or whatever? Like the point is you all want to have a competition that doesn't exist. My life is beautiful. I don't ever prove myself to narcissists. But I can go over it again if y'all like right now and explain to y'all, right, how everything I'm saying is a fact. Like I said, number one. I don't ever act out of character. Have it once. Number two, I document, videotape, and record everything. I will be recording anybody's actions towards me. It doesn't matter what it is. That's number two. Okay, number three. I got y'all literally looking hilarious, bro. Literally, I'm clowning you, making a fool out of you, and I literally have it all documented. Y'all look hilarious, bro. Y'all, it's hilarious. That's all y'all do with real niggas is give us a good old laugh. We laughing at you, bro. We gonna keep laughing at you. Right? Okay. So here's number one. I've never spoke to any of you. I never said your name. I had no interest in talking to you. You all went out of your way and tried to force communication, which is harassment. Right? Which also is a legal use of a telecommunication device, as I stated to you, as I have documented. See, you don't understand. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm... I'm a veteran in the streets, partner. I don't play at all. I don't play no games. And I don't do no talking. Okay, that's number one. So number one, just understand that the reality of the individual who I am, right, that you're pretending, blah, 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 like, no, bro, the reality is in a whole nother realm, bro. Like, I'm a whole nother ball game, bro. So that's number one. None of you will ever disrespect me. We proved that today. We established that. And like I said, we prove everything right in your face, right? Clearly, I'm never scared. I ain't never scared. I'm not scared of nothing and nobody. That's number one. Prove that yet again. We prove that every day. I've been proving that every single breath. 
So that's number one. My point got proven. You all didn't prove a point. You all got proven wrong and exposed and made to look silly, right? And sit there looking looking dumbfounded like you don't know what's going on. It's kind of like when Mano checked the penguin in New York, right? And they said the penguin was waddling around, looking around like he didn't know what was going on. That's what y'all do, right? There's no point where y'all are tough, where you've been able to even perpetrate like you were tough, there's no point where you had any point or even said anything that was coherent conversation. You all literally want to repeat words and feel like that's an answer now for street niggas, real gangsters, real niggas who don't play about their name, don't play about respect, and don't care how nobody feels about it. Gangsters don't care, homie. With gangsters, it's just like, hey, it's whatever, bro. Like, honestly, like, it, we can do whatever. I have no fear of nothing, right? That's how it is with gangsters. Me, I'm smart, right? I watch how I come. I watch how I move. I watch my words. If you notice, I ain't done one thing wrong yet because I play this by the book. I know exactly how to move. Number two, like I said, I never talked to anyone. None of y'all even exist to me. I don't even, you don't even have an identity to me. You've been irrelevant since day one. I don't know you. All I'm saying is don't be getting on my phone harassing me. That's all. That's all I asked. That's all my point is. I don't understand how people think they can talk back on that. Like, no, you're, you're not understanding. Like, that's my civil right and civil liberty. Uh, what kind of delusion and, and delusional, like, what are y'all high on? And what are you talking about that you would tell me, like, how things going to go? Clearly, you found out real quick that you're not going to tell me how things go, that I'm going to tell you how things go. And when I say stay off my phone, I mean that. I'm a grown man. If anyone gets on my phone, right, harassing me, like I said, I don't play about that. I don't play about gang stalking. I don't tolerate disrespect. So all you trolls and fools and clowns who got something to say you want to hate on me, understand I do not allow hate in my purse. As I told you, I wasn't playing about nothing, nigga. I've been running the streets. We've been not putting up with anything. What are you talking about? All y'all been owned. All y'all fool. You want to talk about the actual reality? I've literally run these streets. I got people shook and terrified of me. Everybody. What are you talking about? There's no, you, there's no, nobody can push the envelope with me. People don't do that because they have common sense. You people obviously lack common sense. Okay, that's fine. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, clearly you, you continue to find out reality. Clearly you continue to get back down and learn your lesson. So it is what it is. Lesson learned, right? Number two, when somebody says something about my life, number one, you don't ever do that. I would never tolerate that. I would never allow that. Number two, do it when you're not hiding behind a system. Make it real. Don't do it hiding behind a system, coward, and then act like you said something. See, everything that you all do is calculated. It's methodic. And it also, everything y'all do is premeditated. You're all going down for RICO charges, the highest form of conspiracy. Conspiracy that there is, which your intentions towards me and what you want to do to me is clear as day. You all say it all the time, right? You can't even ho hold your, your hate in, and you think that's a smart move. I 100% will be seeing all of you in court. I 100% am not playing. I 100% am on the offensive, okay? I 100% have no fear of you, of your fake system, of your lies, of anything that y'all talking about, and I don't care who y'all talk to, who you whine to, who you complain to, and who you lie to. I will tell anyone of you off to your face, bring it. You got that? So this would be a white man standing his ground like I always do. I'm going to be Gucci as far as anything. I already know that. I'm going to be Gucci. I'm going to continue to be wealthy and rich. So somebody said something about my life and said that my life, apparently, according to them, because they were projecting, so someone told them to every time they speak to start projecting and that somehow that bothers me? No, you never bothered me. You never got underneath my skin. Again, listen to my words. I do not tolerate disrespect. So see, you can't pretend and make things something they're not. Just like when someone says these lies and things that don't exist, I've proven them all wrong. You can look at my community wall. Number one, I can't ever have anyone fire me because I operate above the feds. I'm literally my own independent organization, right? I'm like my own independent agency, 100%. And what I do is I protect people, right? I take care of the public. I protect the public, right? So what you got to understand, right, is that I don't care 
who wants to twist things, who sees things what way. I don't care about strangers' opinion. I don't care about none of that. I care about doing my job. And what you don't seem to get is I'm an independent agency. I operate independently. So I answer to no one. I have full reign across this country and world to do whatever I want. Okay. And if anybody feels any other way about that, then cool. I mean, see me in court. Real talk. Like, do you all realize that? Like, why don't you all file a lawsuit? Because you can't, right? Because I don't break the law. You can't because I know how to move and I know what I'm doing. Again, I operate independently. I create my own payroll and budget as I have since day one. I'm an independent athlete. Now, I want people to understand when you say something about that my life, whatever, something negative that somehow you, you, you said my life is negative, something like that, right? I, I'm not going to say it word for word on here verbatim because of the rules on this network and I just don't like negativity, right? So you said whatever you said, right? Okay. Well, let me prove now to, again, something I would never prove anything to you, but let me prove it to the public how there's nothing negative about my life. Number one, I'm completely free, always will be free, no matter how many people lie. Like I said, um, every single official here is corrupt. The courtroom is corrupt. I've been targeted 100% directly in front of everyone. They think they can keep doing these things in front of everyone, but see, everything is public. Everything, again, will be filmed and recorded, and every tape that I have will be released to the public, thus showing every move that you make. Okay, so I would tread lightly. I would honestly tread lightly. I would be careful who you talk to, who you talk about. I would be careful what you say, my nigga, and I'd keep my name out your mouth. That's what I would do, all of you, especially considering that you're all three feet tall and you make nothing for wage. Is it getting clearer now? Is the perspective getting clearer? Right, that I'm in control as always, and I'm in charge, and I'm the boss. So n number one, no, you people don't want to get me started. Right. And now you have. Um, no, bro. People try. They go out their way to not upset me, bro. My my anger is on a whole nother level and my anger is powerful. And like, like I, I, you know, how to control my emotions. OK, my anger is power. Now, again, you see that, right? You see how I just it's easy for me, man. Like like I told you, like it's so easy for me. To just own y'all. I'd be sunning y'all. I go zero to a hundred. All y'all find out reality very quickly. And then you realize, okay, like that guy is nothing to play with. That's my life story. Nobody's ever bullied me. People tried to bully me. And every time they found out my entire life since I was yay high, since I was a kid. So like I said, has there ever been a time yet? Have you all seen a time that anybody's disrespected me and, and it's been okay? That we've just allowed that to simmer in the air? You say my name, I don't care who you are, understand, I am confronting you, directly to you, direct, I speak direct, that's why I tell y'all y'all to talk direct, there was no need for anyone to get on the phone, there never is, be grown, be a man, and, and understand and stand on your own too, just like my father taught me to be a man, I'm gonna make all of y'all be men or women, I'm a grown man, my nigga, I don't have to follow no, none of your rules. I make the rules. I pay tax dollars. All y'all wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for my tax dollars. I will tell you to your face. Y'all are some rats. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. I'm tired of y'all acting like you can't hear me. You hear me very well, my nigga. Yeah, y'all know what it is. You know who run everything here, right? That's number one. So like I said, y'all wouldn't even have a job if it wasn't for me. That's number one. Number two, like I said, I don't care how you feel. I don't care if you like me. I don't see things a certain way. I see them for what they are. My ancestors built this country. My ancestors built the state of Texas, literally. I'm one of the very, very few rare families that my name, Sneed, you can Google and find our his, some of our history. We built this country and built the state of Texas, all right? My ancestors were nice enough, right, to say that all of you other people, right, all of you, I don't care who you think you are, I don't care what you're talking about, we said all y'all, right, can, all of you minorities, can come here on this soil because we were being nice. My ancestors never, ever, ever, right, got, they never lost, they never lost a war, a battle, a conflict, nothing. They literally were being nice, just like I'm a nice person, and they said, hey, you can go ahead and, and come on over here, right? And, and we're making this a free country because we did what? Everything righteous. We created opportunity because y'all were sitting there squatting on the land. That's why they call you squaws because you were squatting on the land, not doing nothing with it. 100% we took this land. That's number one. Very proud of my lineage, my history, who I am, and being a white man. I would never want to be y'all. Look at y'all, right? Look at you, <laughs> right? 
So that's number one. I'm proud of who I am, okay? All y'all have done nothing but sit there and try to hate on me. My, my people and my race get hated on more than anybody. And again, you are exposing this publicly and making it a public issue. Please continue. Please carry on. Please keep acting like y'all are tough because you're operating off of a weak emotion. Hate is a weak emotion. At what point are any of you tough? At what point have any of you said anything? I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. I'm completely chiseled by the gods. I'm stronger than any man on this planet. I've proven all that on camera. You got to catch up. When I tell y'all to go to my YouTube channel, what do you think I'm talking for my health? Go to my channel, bro. My channel proves every one of my points and shows that my life is beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. What are you talking about? I look better than Ryan Gosling. I definitely look better than you. What are you talking about, white boy? I look better than all y'all. Are you serious? I'm six foot two or, 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 or I'm like six foot two, six foot three. What are you talking about? I'm pure muscle. I can do like over 130 to 200 push-ups in one set. I'm a, I'm a boss. I'm literally the best warrior in the world. And, and, and what? People want to just keep, oh, well, we're just going to keep bothering you. We're going to keep harassing you and never allow you to like, dude, what? I've been showing what I do my, this entire time. I don't care what people do. I'm going to keep on showing my talent and showing my gift to the world. That's what I'm here to do. I'm also the best basketball player that ever walked this planet. Proved all that on camera. Go to the channel. I've proven this over and over, years and years, on all of these YouTube channels, and they take down the channel. Right? So I'm going to say this again, man. When y'all sit there and you do what you do, right? Number one, who are you talking to? You're not going to disrespect me. That's number one. Number two, what are you talking about? That's my question. Because, like, honestly, it's getting really irritating when y'all don't make any sense. No, what y'all are doing is called gang stalking and harassment and it ain't happening. And, and yes, I'm taking it to court. Why are you repeating phrases and words and I never do what you say, so don't ever tell me to do anything. I do what I want to do, nigga. What do you mean? No, I don't do what you do. I'm not a rat. Right? I don't even talk to rats. So I'm going to say it again. I operate off G code. Right, And I make everyone and force everyone else around me to operate our key code off of respect. Right? So, number one, again, I'm not going to be disrespected. Like I said, ain't nobody pushing no issue with me. You fools, be quiet and you go silent every time and you stop talking just like I told you. Right? Yeah. No, we don't play that game, bro. We don't do that, man. Obviously, it shows that you have nothing going for you. Obviously, it shows that like literally you have nothing you're proud of right? And you're miserable. If you're projecting every single word that you talk, why should I care? You don't dictate my value, bro. I'm absolutely beautiful. I'm gorgeous. Are you serious? Look at my girlfriend. My girlfriend is absolutely beautiful. Like what? I'm sorry, but what did you just say? Uh, um, uh, like I'm doing something wrong? Look, look at me right here. Look, in better shape than anyone. I'm bigger than 50 cent by a long, like, like it ain't even comparable. I am right now, bro. I'm in amazing shape, right? So number one, where would people even get off talking like this and pretending with me? That's what I'm trying to understand and figure out. What are they talking about? Because all I see is basic reality, right? Which is that people are really in their feelings. People aren't really making any coherent sense. People are just running their mouth right? No, my life is beautiful. Like I said, why do you all want people to repeat words? I told this one on here, this clown on here, my life is beautiful. Clearly you're the same one making phone calls, talking to people, infecting them with your hate and your nonsense and your lies. I don't care. The only people that go along with that are people who already wanted to be against me because they hating on me. I don't care about that, bro. Keep that up. Because that's why you're going to prison. That's why I'm filing a federal lawsuit and case. And guess what? Your boy just entered the case. He's going to prison. Yep, because you tried to assist these people in what they're doing, which is a smear campaign, an attack on me and my life to damage my life and who I am, right? Right? To try to take away my freedom, to put me in compromising positions, right? Something I don't take the bait, nor have I. Again, you're not making me look any way. You look some way. You look like a fool. Right? No, I'm not tolerating disrespect. I don't care where I'm at, who it is. No, I don't have to. Y'all are all delusional. Like I said, you, you all work off my tax dollars. You ain't telling me nothing. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I, I'm going to say everything I need to say. Like, I ain't even got to repeat myself, bro. Y'all already know what it is with me. 
Real talk, like y'all irritate, man. Y'all get y'all getting old with this, bro. Just constantly, every day, constant attacks. Yeah, like I said, you're trying to make me some kind of target, and you're trying to break me down. Like fool, I don't I don't do games like that, bro. You understand? Like that's that's a real, real, real weird game. That's that's very weird. It's very out of place. It's clear what it is, right? Again, I'm not disrespecting anybody. Nobody has any reason to be harassing me, bothering me, and nobody has any reason to be disrespecting me. It's just clear as day. You understand? So, again, like, what what is your deal? What is your actual issue? Right? Um, number one, you got to understand, bro, like, I survived literally, like, like what I what I went through, right? Then I survived the other stuff that happened to me that I've talked about a million times. I'm tired of going over it, right? So how would that make sense? How would any of this make sense that people are literally sitting there and they're just projecting? They're not talking to me or having a conversation. They're doing weirdo stuff. As I told you, none of these people ever talked like that to my face. Ever. I don't I don't play like that. I don't tolerate that. Now you know, right? Okay, so I'm not fronting. I proved all my points. Like I said, I don't look like you, bro. Have you got, you need a mirror. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Because you don't look like me. You don't look like this. Women love me. Like I said, I've been with, with more women than any man or woman who've, who's ever walked the planet. I have a beautiful girlfriend right now. What are you talking about, dude? The question is, what does it matter? Is, is it your business? Like real talk. Is it is it your business? Does it matter? How you feel or or what you got to say? No. So like I said, what is is people's actual issue? What is their problem? Right? What what is, what are these attacks? Like, no, bro, it, it don't work like that, man. I'm telling you right now, quit trying to attack me on some coward stuff. It's weird, man. We are street niggas. We don't respect you. You ain't getting no attention. You're not getting recognized. Y'all don't exist. You ain't bringing nothing my way. You keep that the hell away from me. I'm not taking nothing off nobody. No, it, you all don't get it. Like I said, y'all could never do what I do. You could never do this radio what I do. You could never be, go through what I'm going through being under attack. Y'all ain't under attack. I am. So don't tell me anything. Don't try to judge me. And all it does is completely exonerate me. Mm hmm. Nah, nah. Uh, uh, if you take disrespect, what do you stand for? I don't. I'm a man. I don't have nothing but my word and my, and I don't break them for nobody. Everybody want to point their finger. There's the bad guy. There's a the bad guy coming through, right? Oh, I'm not a bad guy. I'm amazing. I was amazing to all of you. If you want to get on some narc stuff and you want to start trying to play games with me, like I said, I'm not going to put up with it. Mm hmm. So that's reality, right? Then you got to sit there and watch me. Not only do you have to watch me, but you have to pay me while you watch me because I'm monetized. So I'm making money right now. So like I have a job, right? I work right here for myself. I don't have a boss. So where did y'all get off acting like, what? like, dude, like, no, I've never worked for any of you. Number one, you're not the owner and the owner can't pay his bills. I don't work for anyone. I've never worked for a company ever in my life. No, I don't care what you tell yourself. See, again, you're not listening. You tell yourself whatever delusion you want. That's irrelevant to me in my life. See what I'm saying? So how would you be able to tell me what my life is while you're projecting talking about yourself? Like, I'm sorry that things suck for you, but that's not my problem. Oh, I'm beautiful. I'm in amazing shape. Like, I'm I'm, I'm Gucci. Like, I make bread. I get money. Like, I can show all y'all the stats. What are you talking about? I make more money than all y'all put together. What are you talking about, bro? I got statements right now for for well over 7K made in what? Just a matter of a few months. Money ain't nothing to me. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Like I said, like, what are you talking about? Just recently, I had like over like $11,000, $12,000. Again, what do you mean? Before that, I was sitting on over what? $7,500 to like $8,000 to $10,000. I've been working this entire time. I've never worked for a company. No, even if I do a job, I'm not working for you. I'm working for me. You see the difference? No, you don't understand. That's that's what people are. They're assets to a company. No, you're not listening. See, when I can outdo everyone at any company and I bring more to the table than them, factually, financially, and I have more finances and I'm backing everything I'm saying and doing with actual money, how would they be able to tell me anything? You see what I'm saying? 
So number one, no, again, that's not what happened. Okay, so first of all, again, um, my business is not anybody's business. That's why I tell y'all to talk direct. Y'all never learn how to just talk to somebody direct, face to face, and like not go to the internet. You all do this going to the internet stuff. You all always trying to make me go to the internet, and that's fine, but you see how I don't do things on the internet. I don't go to the internet, right? I'm real direct, right? So like I said, I mean, it is what it is. People know what it is now. They know reality, and they never going to disrespect me again, just like I said. So my points are proven, which proves what you said, all of it wrong. It's all null and void. You've been proven wrong. You can run your mouth all you want, but like, I mean, honestly, you can't even do that because we don't allow it, right? That's what, that's what all of you have learned. No, you lost. No, my life is beautiful. I think that you're mad because, you know, obviously you're lacking and you don't, you don't like yourself and you're projecting. I mean, what does that have to do with me? Again, I, I paid for all my product. I mean, what are you talking about? I mean, number one, y'all sit there like you're somebody. Hey, my laptops is nicer than you. I got two of them right here. They both HPs. Mm -hmm. My laptops are nicer than you. I, I look a lot better than all of you. Um, what do you mean? I make more money than you always. Um, oh, and then, like I said, um, all of them, they owe me money. And that has nothing to do with, with any of these individuals. It has to do with, with, with the company. They owe me money. They have to pay me. There's no, there's no question. There's no question. You don't pay me, I take you to court. No question. You have to pay me. Mm -hmm. You have a payroll mm -hmm. and 100%. You have to pay me direct deposit to my bank and you know you do. And quite frankly, you're not even in charge of that because you're not in charge of anything. Mm -hmm. and, and the fool who is in charge of that, he's not in charge of that either because you're not anybody. Oh, and I can guarantee you that you don't own the building. You just own a company name because you're broke and you don't have any money. What are you talking about? Yeah, I called y'all peasants. disrespect and real facts and i'm very real because you got to understand i'm a gangster you don't disrespect gangsters you see what i'm saying like no I, I it is what it is you can think whatever you want bro i'm not going to allow y'all to play victim with me i'm not going to allow you to bait me like i said i'm not going to make no mistakes but i'm also not going to put up with nothing and i'm not going to let nobody just run their mouth at me you're crazy if you believe that Right? And that's what all these people are. They're absolutely, literally crazy. Like, bro, miss me with your games and your antics, bro. I, I don't have time for y'all. I l really don't, bro. Like, y'all really getting on my nerves, fool. You know? I'm going to say it again, bro. I just literally, like, do you understand? I'm still kind of in recovery from when I was literally hit by a truck full speed. Full speed. I was riding the scooter, like, full speed, like, ran it, ran into it, right, and with no helmet, right, and it, it knocked my front teeth out on impact, and I hit the back of my head on the, on the asphalt on the pavement, and I got right back up, like, nothing even happened. Then I literally fought for my life the entire time, got a cold chill through my whole body, and survived and pulled through, because I wouldn't allow myself to go unconscious. And you have people who were that disrespectful, that sick, that disgusting, that they're sitting here giving me a hard time and sending people to attack me and literally talk smack to me and project. And you think I'm going to put up with that? Really? Are you serious? Do you understand the capacity that I have a brain injury, that I have a TBI? That's who y'all mess with, right? Just like you try to mess with disabled individuals, right? Just because I'm strong doesn't mean I'm invincible. So again, you again just created grounds for y'all to go to prison. Yeah, because you're causing me stress, right? Also, I was burnt through my stomach and abdomen. Same people, same phone calls. And somehow I'm still talking to you and I'm fighting for my life every day because of that. So what do you mean? I'm literally like, I'm obviously completely proof because I'm going through everything. I've been through everything. So to tell me that somehow because I'm super tough and I've been through things that somehow something is negative about me and my life, that doesn't make any sense. You mean because I'm a tough guy? No, my life is beautiful. And because of that, no, my dad taught me to be tough. I'm what I'm supposed to be. See, you are ashamed of yourself and you don't like yourself. So you're projecting. That has nothing to do with me. What are you talking about? I'm raised right. That's why, again, I don't have women problems. That's why I have a beautiful girlfriend, right? Oh, by the way, let me go ahead and look again so I can let you know the amount of money I'm getting since you want to hate, right? To the, to the individual who said all that, that you're kicking all this negativity, right? 
Remember, you want to really kick negativity and act like it's a game out here. Okay. Let's see. Let me scroll up here in our messages. 300, $377,000 settlement and 47500 walking cash. Like I said, I told the one clown fool what it was, and that's why, because I'm not going to shut my mouth about my blessings. I'm not playing that game, none of that. I don't need anything from you. If I needed anything from you or I needed your, your minimum wage that's not even a job because you can't even run a company and can't pay your bills, right, or, or get anything that you need, so that's you who's lacking. That's your boss who's lacking. That's you people who can't provide. All my bills are paid. I have a ton of bills, bro. They're all paid. I pay for a car lot every month, 80 bucks. All my car lot is paid for. I don't have the luxury that you have to drop the ball and not pay for what for my stuff. That's number one. So that makes you look horrible, right? So, I mean, what do you mean? You talking about all these different things. You making up lies. You talking about the same thing about hygiene. My hygiene is completely on point. I just showered right now. I just brush my teeth. I do every single day, sometimes multiple times. What are you talking about? You people say all this and that. You talk about things that don't make any sense. Like I said, there is no stores within a million mile radius of here, right? My license is suspended. That doesn't mean that there's anything negative about my life. That means that I'm a real nigga, that I've been through things. And like I said, those people lied about the tickets. So this is what they do. They try to force all these things on you and force their lies. But then they want to tell you, oh, you're someone you're not because of the things we did. Yeah, that makes no sense. You're just delusional. And trust me, like, you want to piss someone off? That's a great way of doing it. You feel me? Like, like real talk. Like, y'all are really soft, homie. Like, seriously, bro. I think you should sit down and be quiet. That's what I think. And and now y'all know. Now y'all know, like, no, nah, ain't nobody playing over here. Yeah, I told you to your face. I told the one clown, then I told this other clown to your face what it was. So now... The settlement that Christina and I are going to be sitting on is over $377,000, okay? Then on top of that, $47,500. i am going to add those figures together right now and tell you the money we're going to be sitting on. Now remember, I'm a dude, I have bank accounts with over $300,000 of them already. I, I go through money like peanuts, but I also know how to spend my money. I never do money management because that's for suckers, just like holding cash is for suckers, correct? I teach and educate the public about Illuminati and Freemasonry and the world around them because I'm a hyper-intelligent genius. Out of high school, I had a 4.2 GPA. Top 10 of my class, diploma distinction. You're saying to, you're basically saying that I should live my life fragile like you and be a coward. No, I'm good. I don't want to do that. That's why I'm successful and why you're not. That's why I actually own my properties. That's why I actually sold 50-acre properties. Why are y'all wasting your time doing this typing? Are you typing to yourself, nigga? None of that exists, Right? What are you talking about? I sold my property for over $100,000. I've sold properties. I've done real estate independently. I've done it all, right? Just like, like your nigga was sitting there talking, oh, you a jack all trades. Yeah, in my face, all y'all kiss up. All y'all some cowards. So like I said, you want to hate? Okay, get get busy. Get ready though. Get ready. You want to hate? Get ready, right? Because now you understand that this animal right here, he, 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 he reacts. And he reacts knowing, like I react knowing Knowingly, I know what y'all on. I don't have to be a, a knowingly of, of what's going on. I'm a human being. I'm going to react every time. That's the game they want to play. Oh, you're supposed to be like us and be a robot. I'm good. I'd just rather not tolerate disrespect. Don't come anywhere near me, nigga. And, and expect me to just be nice and cool. No, you disrespecting me, bro. You, what part can you not hear when I talk? I do not tolerate disrespect. I don't care who you are. I don't care if it was a gray alien. You can tell the grays right now. You all uh, talk about triangulating. Tell the grays to triangulate on my location right now and see if I'm playing. I don't tolerate no disrespect. Did the grays say something about me? I don't fear aliens, nigga. You think I fear you humans? Like I said, I'm a god. Y'all y'all think this is a game. You think I'm playing. You think I train like Darth Vader and Batman for no reason? I'm Superman in reality. Maybe you're not listening. I, I, I didn't have a helmet on when I went through that. I survived. Y'all burnt me through my stomach and abdomen. I'm still here talking. I'm Superman, not just Batman. Right? I moved that fast. I'm that strong. Yeah. I, when I was like 17, 18, I was picking up whole walls and houses when we were doing demolition projects. I've done everything. I've done construction. I've owned my own food truck and ran my own restaurant. I've built businesses. I've built bars. I've, I've helped people build all these businesses. You said I didn't nothing to show for it. Like I said, I got my money from that a long time ago. I already spent it. I'm sorry, but what? 
The fact is, no matter what's going on with me, you're going to say the same thing. It doesn't matter how much money I have, just like y'all was hating when I was driving around my Porsche that I still own. I paid $25,000 for it. So what do you mean? You sitting there saying something that makes no coherence again, sense again. You, you're not saying anything. When you sit there and say, uh, well, uh, 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 uh. Well, you're asking me what my issue is. This is my issue. Well, again, you're not making any sense because your issue can't be something that doesn't exist, little nigga. See, if you listen and stop talking, we could make some sense. You just rambling, does, that's not a conversation. Well, I'm not going to play like that. I do radio. Niggas try that all the time with me, and all I'm going to do is go 0 to 100 and let you know what it is, little nigga, and that's it, and keep it pushing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own y'all every time and make you look silly and like a punk because that's what you are. So... No, your issue isn't any of that, okay? That's number one, get that right. What your issue actually is, is jealousy, envy, projection, self-hate, right? Your issue is that you're just simply jealous of me and your homeboy showed you my channel, obviously, and you got jealous, right? So you was like, man, this dude really does it all. Like, this dude's Batman in reality. Like, like I said, I don't understand what's confusing, first of all. Like I told you, I don't waste no time. I, I, I confront immediately, right? So then you got people that are always running from me. That's all y'all do is run like the cowards you are, right? So it's like, it's just like any rules in the street, right? So then when, when we, when we finally cross paths and we see each other, right? Every time I expose y'all, every time I don't back down, you see there's no fear, right? So what do you mean? I'm on the offensive. I've proven my point every single time. Like I said, ain't nothing fake over here. You don't know me. You don't know about me, bro. Please stop acting like y'all can talk back to me. Like, honestly, no one knows about me. You don't know about me. I'm a street legend, bro. I'm a legend in these streets. I'm Batman for a reason. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I do. You don't know how dangerous I am. You don't have a clue. You have no idea what I've done in my life. And, and I hope that scares you. You have no idea, bro. I'm a wild animal, bro. I'm a monster. Maybe you're not listening. I didn't back down to anyone. I've defeated the cartel single-handedly, easily. I just shut down another cartel operation recently. This is what I do, little nigga. I stop crime. What are you talking about? What are you committing? Crimes. So what did you expect, little nigga? Huh, white boy? What did you expect? This is what I do, bro. I don't care about what you're talking about. I'm not governed by any authority. Real talk. I don't answer to your government. Your government's trying to target me and attack me, and I'm not putting up with it and having back down. I already defeated them. They're all weak. I don't answer to Joe Biden. He falls asleep at press conferences. I don't listen to that old man. Is that clear enough? Well, what are you not getting? I'm way richer than Donald Trump could ever dream of being, not to mention he never paid his taxes. He didn't pay that bond. That's a lie, too. They don't have any money. Freemasons are not allowed ownership. This is an opinion. This is actual documented fact, and I'll prove it right here in front of you yet again. BMW's, uh, the, the sorry, Chief Keith's label owner, the CEO of the label, took Chief Keefe's uh, BMW i8 or whatever back from him when he wasn't following the rules because they're a modern-day slavery like you. You're all slaves. If you work a 9-to-5, you're a slave. Okay, capiche? And you're not seeming to listen. He took the BMW i8 back from Chief Keefe because Chief Keefe never owned it. However, the CEO of the label does not own it either. They don't own the cars. They are pimped out by the car companies. It's a vicious pimped out by the car companies so the car companies use the them to promote and so on and back and forth that's what the record labels do with the car companies it's all under the prison industrial complex right and your prison industrial complex is goal is to make music to lock us all up and i won't allow that you see my freedom ain't going it, it's not going period i cherish my freedom i always make sound decisions i make right decisions again i'm just not gonna let nobody talk to me i'm not gonna let nobody disrespect me like I said, it's a very easy fix. If any of you have a problem, the way that you do things, you want to speak fighting words, you want to say things that are way out of line and way past the line and I'm not going to ever allow you to say to me, you hop in a ring and you sign the waiver. You can't have your cake and eat it too. There is no option. Those are your options. You want to mouth off, you hop in, the, hop in the ring and you sign the waiver and you back up what you're saying. If you can't do that, like I said, how are you going to tell me anything? You're admitting you're a troll and a sucker and that's what you, you punks did. Right? So, again, no, you probably listen to the channel. You think I care? Keep listening, nigga. You paying me. 
You're going to keep listening. You're going to keep listening to me make money while you're in slavery stuck and can't get nothing done and can't go nowhere, right? And literally you're limiting your own movements. You're sitting there pissing off real niggas, right? And, and, and you're sitting there playing with gangsters. I mean, is that really the thing to do? I mean, how are you successful? Number one, like I, I, I know y'all, like I've seen y'all. Y'all don't work. When I was working, I was doing way better at my job than you ever did. You was just sitting there watching movies. Mm-hmm. Real talk, nigga. Say the truth. Exposed. You don't work. I, I work hard. I do my job the right way. I do everything. And that's why you mad and don't like it. Just like in any job. People don't like the guy who really does the job. Like, you think that's new? That's not new, bro. <laughs> not at all. Actually, that's... um. A pretty frequent um, occurrence, if you want me to be realistic with you. It's a frequent occurrence, man. Like, seriously, like, people don't like the guy that really does his job the right way. You feel me? So, number one, I don't care whether you like me or not. Um, that game you're trying to play with me ain't cute at all. I take it extremely seriously, and, and, and now you know I would never play like that. Okay? Um, and it's just that simple, man. Like, don't play with me. I'm not the one. Feel me? Especially with what I've been through. Number one, I'm injured and going through a lot. And for anybody to be trying to give me a hard time or sit there and act like y'all really be catty and weird. Like y'all really be sniveling little cowards, like sitting there with your little smirk, like, uh -huh, like something's funny. Yeah. You know, I have a habit of wiping smirks off fools like you, like you all faces. Just so you know, I have a habit of making your day miserable Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just like I continue to. I have a habit of like, no, like you never come around me on no funny style uh, stuff. I'll call y'all just, I'll call y'all just for laughing. I'll call you out. I don't care where we at. I don't care what we doing. I'll call you out just for coming around me acting like something sweet or funny. I'll address you right there. I don't care who you are. See, number one. So number one, you found out I don't back down, right? Number two, you found out I'm a real gangster and a thug and I don't play at all. I don't play no games. Number three, you realize you can't do your lying and your projection. That won't work. You got proven wrong. You're jealous of me because my life's beautiful. I'm the one with the mansion and estate. I'm the one with the billions in equity. Quit worrying about one thing. I got everything. I own whole buildings, my nigga. Tons of them. Worth billions of dollars. Yes, I do. What are you talking about? I could go there right now, my nigga. Are you serious? I'm not going to show you. Why would I show people who the enemy? Yeah, I'm going to show people the enemy so they can damage what I have. Come on, bro. Yeah, this game is old, man. Y'all done talked enough, bro. I don't care, bro. I ain't trying to prove nothing to you. You just running your mouth. Not even making sense with what you're doing. You got to make some sense, bro. You gonna you can't just sit there hating and expect people to put up with it. Hell no, I'm not putting up with it. Y'all be weird, bro. Like I said, keep calling, keep talking to fools, keep on affecting them with your hate. It don't make no sense, and none of y'all make no sense, and I'm not tolerating none of it. You better you better find out about me and ask about me before you ever come anywhere near me on some weirdo energy. Cause trust me, it gets ugly with me. It gets ugly. I don't play at all. So now you know that everyone here is a sniveling coward. Like I've been saying since day one, they be tripping about fake stuff with property lines and they be lying while they cross my property line all the time, right? They knocked down my mailbox, what, twice and didn't do anything about that. I think maybe the dude got arrested, hopefully both times. I think that was intentional. Um, all the other harassment, right? All the other excessive harassment, right? All that's going in the lawsuit, then how y'all took my Porsche for a joyride, how you didn't tow the car, right, where I was, uh, where I went through what I went through, that's illegal. I'm bringing all that up in court. How, how you tried to claim some fake stuff about a fake common law that didn't exist, and I went and proved that y'all were lying, that it didn't exist, and I spent the money. Because I was sitting on over, what, a quarter million dollars, I think, at that time. But, but this, the dude, they saying something negative, there's something negative about my life? your actions don't add up with that partner i mean if there was something negative over here you wouldn't be worried about me because i damn sure ain't worried about you you saying my name you getting on my phone contacting me you see how that's harassment i'm not contacting you i don't i don't want to talk to you at all there's nothing to talk about because my life's good because i'm gucci see if someone's genuinely happy they ain't trying to run around and harass people they're not contacting you no you found yourself on my phone my nigga i don't play like that <laughs> now you know yeah oh i'm completely serious no, anybody gets on my phone, they should know what they doing. Mm -hmm. And you should know like how pissed off I'm going to get. Yeah, no, I'm not playing at all. Don't ever get on my phone again, you punk. You understand that? How about that? How, how, who's playing now? Uh-huh, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, and I got you looking like a fool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and wait till I go public with it because I'm going to.
Oh, don't worry about that. It'll go public. Yeah, it's going to go viral. Actually, you're going to go viral. You're going to be famous for being sunned and punked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then what are you going to do? What are you going to do then? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. So everybody knows that you won't do nothing about it. I could disrespect you like I have, call you every name in the book. I do whatever I want with you little sucker niggas. Just like I said, that's the man. That's who women want. Women want a boss. They want a gangster. They want a real man. They don't want a sucker like you, especially that's a slave and, and has to sit there being a sl slave in a way, being a slave for minimum wage, for no real money. All y'all complain everywhere I go, especially in the Valley. Oh, we don't make no money. The damn worthless chiropractor y'all sent me to after my accident, that, that one was the one that couldn't drive, the lady that couldn't drive, right, that thought she was it. And just like all y'all that was whining about, oh, we don't make much money. Well, then why are you doing it? Wasn't you another one talking about stuff that's completely out of your league, but you saying you don't make no money, but I mean, well, you don't make no money because you're throwing it away on all this irrelevant stuff that ain't nothing but the same racketeering. It's illegal what they're doing. They jack the prices so high. Uh, they jack the prices up so high it's unreal for something that's worthless. Like, and then y'all are trying to sit there and say, oh, this is that, this is that. Well, guess what? My property is actually private property. Right? So don't ever come over here again. Don't ever step on my damn grass or I'm going to get pissed and I'm going to let you know. How about that? And I don't care who it is. This is this is Texas. Okay? Maybe you don't know the laws, but I've looked at all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Like, it won't be the first time. It won't be the first time that people, like, people have, have literally come on my property line before. Oh, they found out real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I run out real quick. Fast, too. I don't do no talking. Somebody steps on my property line, I'm not going to talk to you. Ain't nothing to talk about. Real talk. I'll let you know right now. And all I got is me in these hands. I'm, I'm going to come right out the house with it mm -hmm. and start running. I'm not doing no talking. You understand? Because anybody coming on my property line, I mean, I'm guessing that you probably on some malicious stuff. Right? So again, I'm the big battle of white man that everybody's scared of. I'm Batman in reality. Like I say, like I'm terrifying. Trust me, I know I'm terrifying. I'm supposed to be. That's what Batman is. So now it proves that everything you said, you just proved wrong because you're a contradiction, a walking contradiction, right? Because you were trying to devalid invalidate me and say I'm not the real deal, but I just proved to you I am again. Oh, I'm beyond the real deal. Like I said, there's a lot that I know that you don't know. I'm going to say it again. Your all-seeing eye does not see everything. People do not disrespect me because I don't play any games. I'm actually extremely serious with it. I'm telling you, like disrespecting me is the worst thing you can do. I'll tell you straight up. Okay? I, I'm not y'all. I don't do conflicts the way you all do them. I don't do no talking. I'm an actual gangster. Yes, I control everything coast to coast in this country. Okay? I've held my own in Minneapolis. I've done everything. I really have power, nigga. No, there is no agency that's above me or tells me what to do. I operate above them. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell any of you to your face. I'll tell anyone to their face. Okay? All of you are below me. Your jurisdiction is, is nowhere near me. I, Batman has no jurisdiction. I am the authority here, especially. I am the authority. You answer to me. Seriously. I'm your boss. All of you. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not just talking. I'm completely serious. And it just got proven. Right? And it'll continue to get proven. Right? Right? So, like I said, I mean, what is y'all really talking about? Y'all ain't talking about nothing, nigga. Y'all just run your mouth, right? Like I said, I'm monetized. I'm getting paid to speak, right? It doesn't do me any good to just go crazy on here, right? Or act out of character because I get paid off of this. And that's what people like you would like to do. You want to upset people, right? So that you can try to mess up my channel. Yeah, nothing is working, bro. My channels aren't going anywhere. My sources of income aren't going anywhere. I'm building another source of income on top of all this. Like, you're not really getting it. My street history is so extensive, it's unreal. There's another stripe and notch on the belt today. Mm -hmm. Every day, there will be another stripe and notch on the belt because I don't take losses. All I do is win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> and all of you need to get off of my... <laughs> no, I'm happy as hell. My life beautiful, doggy. You can't tell me how I feel. That's impossible. So yeah, you wasting your time. What it is is you mad because I mean everything that you doing is negative. Because what you said is true about you. I don't gotta repeat it. I'm not negative like you, bro. I'm positive, man. I build everyone up. Like I said, like I tried to help you. I mean, you know, what I mean, it is what it is. What are you talking about? You never did anything for me, and I never asked you for nothing. What are you talking about? You played yourself, cousin. 
Like, like, bro, you jump into all these conclusions, a lot, a lot of conclusions out of nowhere that make no sense. You, you very rash and impulsive, man. You know, like I said, how's being a slave? I mean, you, you kept repeating something like it was real. I don't know what you're talking about. That never happened. I've never been fired from a job in my entire existence. You, you were not my boss. You're not the owner. You don't have the authority to fire me. And in order to fire me, you would have to have a tangible excuse, smart one. Mm -hmm. That you'd be able to explain in court. No, what you did was actually completely false and I'm going to sue you for it. I'm filing a lawsuit on your company. Run and tell them that. Go ahead and tell your boss who can't pay his bills. I'm filing a lawsuit on you. And then you're getting a lawsuit personally for you for conspiracy charges. You're going to go to prison behind this. Watch, fool. Mm -hmm. How you feel about that? Hmm? Tell me. How do you feel about that? Are you, are you taking your finger and pushing up your glasses now? Uh -huh. Come on. Come on, you can't be serious, right? Just like I told you, you can't be serious about a minimum wage job. Or they're like, bro, I don't work minimum wage, nigga. That's number one. So, like, the whole thing was made very clear to you, like I told you. Number one, you're not going to tell me when I clock into a job ever. No, you're not. What you said after that, after what I said, again, made no sense. Like, what you're saying doesn't even exist. Um, no, I'll tell you how this goes. You don't ever tell me to clock in at any time. I clock in when I get there, and if you agree to a time primarily, that's verbal consent, right? That's a contract. That's actually contractual, smart one. Understand business. If you don't know business, how are you going to tell me what to do when I, I build businesses and I know business? I was going to college at UTB for international business. I finished all my basics and dropped out a multimillionaire. No, what you are is you're just super mad, triggered, impressed because you know that I'm really everything you want to be, that I'm ultra mega successful. I'm 34 years old. I've already had my success and basically I'm just getting started. My life is beautiful. What do you mean? I have everything I need. I just purchased some new stuff that I need, like just for me to be comfortable. Like, what are you talking about? I, I, I'm about to get furniture and all that, more furniture. I got plenty of furniture right now. I got paintings in here worth more than anything you've ever seen. What do you mean, bro? Like I said, $4,000 TV right here. It's a 70-inch TV, $100 scooter, $300 skateboard, uh, $110 bicycle, $200 bicycle, $1,300 bat cycle. I decommissioned it. I ripped the wire clean out and a spark flew up in my face because I'm really Batman. Like, please tell me what's a fraud about me if I, I just exposed that you're a fraud. If I just exposed who's the tough guy and that you clearly are not it. Right. Oh, by the way, I mean, I'm not even going to say it, man. I mean, it's just funny because like people that y'all know, they be really like liking me. You know what I mean? And like, I just don't pay them no attention. Like I don't pay no attention to it. You know what I mean? But that's what's so funny is like people around y'all be looking up to me. They look up to me and they have every reason to because I'm a good dude. See, everyone loves me. Like I said, sometimes you'll get a hater here and there, a bad apple that don't like you because people love you. You know what I mean? You know what's hilarious, bro? I I was looking and like I know like I'm friends with a, another guy too, and I'm not gonna talk about it, but it was just it was funny, um, because I'm sure he was getting a kick out of everything, right? So like like I said, like, bro, I don't I don't know what y'all talking about, bro. Like I'm a real nice guy, I'm a cool dude, I'm a calm customer, but you gotta come at me correct, man. You ain't gonna come at me no funny style. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't do that, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, my dad was like the worst narcissist ever. He verbally did all that for a long time. I didn't put up with, with him. Why would I put up with, with anyone else? My dad was huge, bro. So if I didn't put up with it from the scariest man ever, right, why would I put up with it, right, from any of you? This is the question. He's the only man that I've ever seen, real man. He's the only man I've ever feared. Like, legitly. Like, even to this day, right? If, if like, if he was here, right? Because, again, we, we all understand what happened, right? It was it made the paper, right? And it sucks and it's sad. And I think Carly Fiorina has everything to do with what happened to my father. And I did all my crying. I, I cried for a long time a lot, Right? And I just feel like he lives through me. But what I'm saying is, my point is, like, if he was here, like, he, he'd still scare me. He was just a scary, scary dude. He's a tough cowboy. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's there's not anyone else other than that that, that strikes any fear in me. You know, or caution. Right? So, it's like, I'm going to do whatever I want with you punks.
<laughs> yeah. And I mean, I think it's pretty clear. I think it's clear as day that I'm going to do whatever I want with you punks, like I just said, because I mean what I said. I don't just talk to talk, right? So, like I said, I mean, you got to sit there and deal with the fact that you're a punk. I don't ever have that problem. Like, I didn't back down, remember? All y'all did. I didn't have anybody get the best of me. I like, you know what I mean? Y'all love to play victim, right? But, like, who wants to be like that? Like, nah, bro, the last thing I'm going to ever be is a victim. You trying to tell a genius who had a 4.2 GPA, top 10 of his class, and a diploma of distinction, a 3.34 in college without going to class or buying the books. I stopped going to class immediately, didn't buy one book, and I still had that good of a GPA, and then I dropped out a multimillionaire. And you're trying to tell me that I'm doing something wrong? Like I said, you said something like that. Like, you really petty, bro. Like, somebody's telling you to say these things? That's super weird, bro. Right? Like, oh, no, that's not it. So what's not it? Because... Last I checked, like, I don't know what part you're not getting. I sold a 50-acre property that I owned. You keep harping on the same things when I've already explained it. I'm not going to repeat myself. I know how to protect my assets because you have to learn that when you're wealthy. You wouldn't know because you ain't never been wealthy, nigga. None of you. Just like you have to know how to move and not let people trick you off your throne or trick you out your freedom. Again, I'm not making no mistakes. I'm very efficient. What I'm doing is right. I'm not going back down to you suckers. No, I'm not. You know, you're not going to come offline and off the computer and start talking that weirdo stuff. No, you're not. Nope. And I'll explain it to anyone and I'll explain it to any court. Mm hmm. No, you're not going to harass me. No, you're trying to harass me and I don't play like that. Harassment is against the law. Right? So if people do their job, the minute that you're harassing me, you need to be arrested. People don't do their job. And then when you show such fake in that system, like I said, yeah, because you're all corrupt. Because all y'all are corrupt and all y'all talk to each other and all y'all try to twist everything. Well, have fun trying to twist this because it's going to be hard. Right? And then you're just going to continue to do it to yourself, like I said, because then everything gets exposed publicly. Right? <laughs> right. And you don't want that, right? You don't you don't want it. You don't want to look like a fool in front of everyone on, on online now, right? Yeah, I really play games, right? You don't want to look like a fool in front of everyone and go viral for being a fool, right? Right? With with the with the screenshot and everything like the still shot of you, you don't want to look like that, right? You don't want to look that bad, do you? I mean, number one, you can't do anything cuz like I said, you broke the law. Mhm. Mm you, you all always break the law by yourself first. Yeah, no. You, you're making a randomly use of the communication device. You let me know when y'all want to do your job. See, you don't get it. When people play these games with me, I know how to get at you the right way. I know how to follow the rules and, and win in this system, your corrupt lying system that you have. You're not going to win against me, none of you. Again, this is my country. If you don't like it, leave. All y'all can leave as far as I'm concerned. Straight up. I'm not playing. Leave. Scram. Hmm? No, no, I'll keep the same energy. Anything I got to say, I'll say to anyone's face. Yes. I don't like none of you, bro. But I'm also not going to be, like, upset. Like, nah, for what? People want to hate on me? Cool, bring it. You feel me? No, all of y'all can leave, right? Because, like I said, you got people making phone calls, doing all that weirdo stuff. Why? The, the reading already told me what it is, right? You keep harping on the same thing. You want to put me in an energy where I have to panic and it's hard for me to do things and, like, yeah, no. Nah. That's actually literally impossible, let me explain to you why. Number one, I own everything. Number one, I'm in charge. Number one, by Texas law, right, there's no way for that to ever happen. It doesn't exist. Like, everything. Like, you can't mess with my ID. You can't tamper with Texas law. So everything's already solidified. Get over it. Mm -hmm. And then number two, on top of that, you can't bound my legs because you would have to tie my legs and tie me up. You'd have to put me in cuffs and tie me up in, in order to tell me, oh, I'm going to do what you want me to do or or whatever your fake stuff is. Yeah, no, I've heard of corruption. Corruption don't scare me because, like, you can't tell me what to do. Even if you tried, it wouldn't work. Right? No, I'm not bound. I do what I want to do. I have free will. Right? So, like I said, like, why do you think I privatize everything? Why do you think I build everything from scratch a certain way? Why do you think I create all these situations? I'm Batman, bro. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> y'all is crazy, bro. Mm hmm Like, y'all is weird. And what does that have to do with anything going on in the first place? Like, you see what I'm saying? So, like I said, like, y'all is super obvious. When you come to the chat and you're typing those weird comments, yeah, you're showing your intention. 
and you're still thinking like it's okay to continue like your weirdo fake energy. Yeah, like I said, you can't do nothing to me behind a computer. And you're not going to be able to get anybody around me, any of these people here. They're all lame, bro. They're, none of these people got nothing from me. They're not going to be able to move me or or tell me anything. They, it, it doesn't matter. You could break the law every which way, twist the law, do whatever, lie. You could do whatever, play victim. There's no way that it would affect anything with my situation or what I'm doing. Because, again, I'm not at anybody's mercy. I own this. You're not listening. I paid all. I paid cash for all my stuff that I own. How many times do I need to repeat that again? You want to push an issue? Let's push it. Push the issue, nigga. Because you can't. Again, you're not making any sense. You're acting like I have some rules that 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 apply to me that don't apply to any other human being. Yeah, you're out your mind. You're delusional. You're hell bent on a concept that doesn't exist. Why are you so mad at me? Because I paid cash for all this. I mean, I'm just saying. You do understand that, right? That it all came from my money. I paid for it all. I bought it all. I purchased it all. That makes me rich and wealthy, right? That makes me an owner. You you can say whatever about, oh, well, this and that, and this is set up this way. Yeah, to protect my assets. And you then you act like you can't hear. All y'all act like you need your ears checked at that point because it makes you mad. Like, oh, this nigga really get money like that. This nigga really do things for other people. Like, do you even understand I have responsibilities? You don't care about anyone else. Yeah, I do. I'm the one standing up for everyone. I'm the one taking care of everyone. I'm the one helping everyone. What have you done lately? You're trying to take advantage of my situation. No, nothing sucks for me. Everything sucks for you. I'm just a good dude and I'm helping everyone just like I have every, every day. What are you talking about? Like what? Like, again, bro, I paid over 8,500 in taxes. What are you talking about? I've always owned multiple properties. Like I said, I own buildings right now. This is, this is nothing. This is, this is small peanuts. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, but what? Uh, like, I paid bills for years, bro. So why are you still hung up on the same thing? Like I said, what you're wishful thinking and what you want from me will never come true. I assure you and promise you that. Your intimidation tactics will never scare me. Will never scare me off. I'm not, not going nowhere. That's a promise on everything I love. Okay? No, I'm going to travel. That's it. I don't have to ask you. I'm not worried about what you do while I'm not around because there's no way for you to affect me. Or my situation. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Your people weird, bro. Like I said, it's because they don't have anything better to do. They're trying to cause me stress. That's a detriment to health. That's a lawsuit. So now this white boy, you part of a federal case in a lawsuit, right? And the fool who lets you use his phone to harass me, I, I, can, I can have him in the federal case too. Now he, right, is a part of this, right? Right? The one that looks like Seinfeld and stuff, right? Trying to act like you cool and, and all that, but undercover you a hater. Right? You so fake. Was you talking about working out working out with them flabby arms looking like a pancake? You looking like a pancake running around here, homie. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, I'm a public figure. You don't like me too bad. Learn Texas law. You can't move me. You can't affect my, my life. You can't affect my situation. I'm going to do what I want with you niggas. Real talk. I was nothing but nice and respectful, bro. Y'all the ones who started being disrespectful for no reason. Remember, to my face, all y'all were catty, fake, didn't say nothing. Y'all started this stuff on my phone, and that's why I said, hey, listen, you talking crazy right now. You need to get off my phone. That's what I said, right? Yeah, tell anybody that. Same thing, like, bro, you don't control me. What, what, what is you high on? What, what did you take that made you feel like you Superman now on your phone, and now you control a grown man and tell me what to do? No, I'm doing things the right way. If anyone tells me to do things the wrong way, I'm going to tell you, hey, no, right? Now make me. See, everything that you're saying is lines I've already said. Because you don't even have your own mind, your own creative thought, your own originality. Can you make music like me? No. Can you sing better than Hank Williams? No. Just be quiet, nigga. It's clear you jealous. You wish you looked like me. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm literally like number one nigga in the bedroom. Let's not forget that with, with women. Mm -hmm. Ask Christina. She knows. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk, I know you see it, I know you see it, like when, when, right? No, real talk, like, you, you're not listening, like, like, I don't talk like this for no reason, okay? And the stereotypes are clearly not true, because I'm living proof of it. So, like, I'm good in every department, bro, I'm the boss in every department. That's what's funny when people like these stalkers who I'm going to put in prison, and, and, and 100%, you're going to prison because of me, and they try to tell me the opposite, like, oh, it's because you, this and that. You got a small, like, um, no, dude, like, are you, why would you say that to somebody that it doesn't apply to? Like, 
you see what I'm saying? Like when you say that, it's it's like almost like you're you know that's weird, right? Like that's almost like they're asking, like like no, dude, I'm good. Like I got a girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like these people be so weird, bro. <laughs> like real talk. Maybe you're not listening. I don't tolerate that anywhere I go. I don't tolerate that in my life. I wouldn't care where I'm at. I don't care where we at, bro. I'm not tolerating none of that. You start doing that projection and that fake troll talk, it doesn't drive me crazy. I don't tolerate it. It's called getting pissed off, nigga. That's what my dad taught me to do. I'm just like my father. Yeah, we don't take no no lip. We don't put up with nothing. Yeah, that's how I'm supposed to be, a man. That's why you're jealous of me, because I'm a real man. That's why I'm rich and wealthy, because I'm a real man. That's why I made money, right? And you're mad at the money I'm making, so you have to try to stop it, right? And what you don't get is you're mad because you can't stop my money because I still make money independently. You understand? I'm cool with it, bro. I don't I don't want to be a slave all day like you. You go ahead and be a slave and waste all your time just sitting there doing nothing, Right? I mean, it's clear who sucks. It's clear who everything sucks for. I mean, I'm not doing that. I'm free to do what I want. I go around making videos while I'm living my beautiful life, having fun. I go into Brownsville. I eat at any restaurant I want. I went into Whataburger the other night. Y'all mad at every place I go to. I'll go to Golden Corral anytime I want. Y'all coming online telling me I'm not going to go somewhere or I'm banned or I can't go. Bro, I'm not banned from anywhere. You know why I'm not banned from anywhere and no one can ban me? Because they don't have the authority. You can't just say I'm banned from anywhere because you don't like me. It doesn't work like that. That's why I'm suing and filing a lawsuit. Just the inclination of that. The inclination that you would tell someone something ahead of time that doesn't make any sense. You have to have grounds for these things. You don't have tangible grounds. Even now, you can't make up grounds. No, you're the one running your mouth. You're harassing me. All right. That's why I tell you people right out the gate immediately, Hey, fool, quit talking to me, bro. If I tell you quit talking to me, by law, that's saying leave me alone, right? By law, you have to be quiet. No, you don't get to keep running your mouth, right? Real talk. If if what I, if I was running my mouth, maybe that's one thing, right? Right? But I'm not, and I'm not talking to you, right? Like, no. no it, it doesn't work like that. Y'all ain't going to get the last word, and you're not going to disrespect me, and I'll call you what you are all day. Yeah, and you got to take it and put up with it because it's the fact. See, when you call me a name, it doesn't apply. Trust me, man, the last thing I am is a coward. You found that out real quick, right? No, I'm not a coward. I'm brave as it gets. I'm a brave heart, nigga. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Don't ever say, oh, 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 you're not who you are. Okay, well, while I'm not who I am and, you know, everything's so bad for me, according to you, like I said, this is the settlement Christina and I are going to be sitting on. $377,000. I'm so blessed somehow I know the future, right? And readings tell me it because I get divine downloads from spirits because I sit at the right hand, right hand of God, right? And you think I'm scared of any of you pathetic humans? Hey, if God's on my side, where can I lose? Real talk. If God is for me, who can be against me? Real talk. All y'all on that demonic stuff, it manifests in you. That's why you sit there with your fake rage. Like, nigga, was that anger? Because, like, you a sucker. Like, you don't understand, like, how much of a well, fool you are like you really make me smile like I laugh at you do you understand how happy you made me today like how proud I am like wow bro I'm not just Batman I'm really Batman like wow bro I'm not just Tyree I'm the real man I'm not just a real man like I prove like I, I prove every point I've proven with action in reality who I am I am super proud, bro. Like I said, y'all think people are scared of this fake system. Man, miss me with that, bro. Travis County Jail is a joke. Cariasal is, is a joke. All y'all a joke. They don't even give you what you need in there, and they don't even do their job. All of you, all of this corrupt, all the corrupt officials and corrupt agencies are a joke. All of you are a joke, and you're being exposed. All I do is follow the law, brother, and all I do is make sure that people follow the law. I'm Batman. I stop crime. What are you talking about? No, I'm not going to be nice about nothing. I'm not going to put up with nothing from nobody. What are you talking about? Just like you have a job to do. They love to use that line, right? Well, I'm going to do my job. Then why don't you do your job? Why don't you actually like apply law with people who break the law? Like these people, they're harassing me on my phone. They're gang stalking me, right? They're trying to, to set me up and, and put me in situations that, that I don't need to be in for no reason. Right? They're trying to act like I'm doing something wrong if I don't tolerate their disrespect and their delusion. No, I'm not going to accept mental illness. No, that's not against the law. That is the law. What are you talking about? We don't negotiate with y'all. We're not, we're not hearing nothing. So like I said, why don't you do your job? So don't say, oh, well, I'm going to do my job. When? When? These people been committing crimes publicly, nigga, every single day. Y'all worried about eating donuts. Y'all ain't worried about doing your, your, your damn job. 
Hmm? How more direct can I be? I thought I was so scared. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, y'all scared to do your job. Real talk. Isn't that why I had to do your job for you? You remember that? You remember all that history, right? You like, you remember what I went through? Like, I did 45 days in the cam, my nigga, right? I don't have any felonies. Like, I follow all the rules. I was protecting my assets, standing up against all of you punks who were targeting me, right? So, like I said, now, ever since, ever since, it's been the same story. Well, uh, we're just going to do the same thing, and we're all going to get together and target you. This is a public network, and you're talking and acting like you're going to target me, a public figure, in front of everyone, and this is some kind of game to you and a game we plan? Nigga, you people crazy, bro. You're, you're out your, you're plumb out your mind. <laughs> like, like, okay, <laughs> you know? Like I said, it's, it's, it's just like in the movie. Like I said, just like when he's like, I want $10 million every month for the rest of my life. And he said, so let me get this straight. You think that your boss is a vigilante, a masked vigilante who spends his nights, right, doing whatever to criminals to a pulp. That's what he said. And your plan is to blackmail this person? And then he gets all scared and shook and he's like, good luck. Yeah, that's reality. Because, again, you're talking to Batman. And, yes, that's 100% what I do. So when you say, no, I don't, how would you know? Do you know me? Bro, I've been doing that my entire life. What are you talking about? There's fools around here that in high school I went back and forth with them. What are you talking about? Everybody respect me. Everybody know me and how I get down. I got witnesses for a lot of stuff. What are you talking about? I just stand on my own, too. Like... Like I said, you're you're trying to sit there and do some weird operation, man. That stuff ain't never going to work, bro. You feel me? It ain't never going to work. I don't back down to nobody, bro. I don't care where I'm at. You know what I mean? Like, real talk, bro. You know what I mean? And all y'all running your mouth, all you people, bro. Like, I'm not letting nothing slide. Yeah. You tell, run and tell them I said it, right? All you fools got online, right? You want to run your mouth? Yeah. Uh, okay. Nobody's exempt, fool. Nobody's exempt. Y'all want to get online. You want to act tough. You want to run your mouth. All right, cool. Like it is what it is. The way the way that I I do things, I don't pay you no attention. I understand the law. I just live my life, right? But like, if we cross paths and y'all come in front of me, I mean, like, what do you think? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it slide. I'm just gonna be like, oh, it's all good. They was talking all this crazy stuff online. I'm not gonna say nothing. No, I'm gonna confront. Yeah. Direct to your face, just like I told all y'all to see me to my face. I told all y'all to see me. Uh huh. See me to my face. Talk to my face. You got anything to say? What did I tell y'all? What did I tell you to your face? Anything you got to say, you say to my face, punk. Just like my father told you, punks, right? Just like my father told that punk, Coach Rosas, right? Then you had the other racist coach, Coach Cadriel, who got caught changing my grades red handed. And you're going to tell me that you 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 think that I, I'm here and you think I care about you Mexicans? Let's just be real. You think I care that you corrupt? You really think that I answer to you? You think you run something? You think this white boy plan? Okay, you keep thinking that, man, because I'm going to tell you what. With that kind of mindset, you're really going to lose. All of you. Just like you've been doing. See, this is why the cartel lost to me. Because y'all just ain't smart and you ain't that tough. You ain't tough. You ain't scary. You're evil. That means you're operating out of fear. You're a coward. That's why I defeated you. What are you talking about? Just like when y'all tried to set me up and the case beat itself. Remember that? When you tried to lie on my name? Like like I said, why am I banned from that hotel if you all lied? The case beat itself. Yeah, we need to include that on the lawsuit too. I'm going to sue that hotel. Lawsuit on that hotel. Yes. Yes. They're going to have to lift that that fake ban because there is no ban. Just like your lawyer who's a judge down here, right? What's What's his name? What's his name? I'll remember his name. I, I, I think I know who it is. But the point is, he was a lawyer and a judge at that time. And he got caught red-handed by me lying about a fake probation. Y'all put me on a fake probation because I got tons of money like that? Y'all had people actually, literally, you had your people in your offices literally like like telling me that I was on a fake probation? That's what they was doing. So like I said, they, that's what they say. They say, well, they can do whatever they want. Okay, cool. Well, let's see it. Let's see y'all do whatever you want. Since y'all are so scary, just like the first time that I was in jail and y'all was, was doing the same thing, um, all y'all do is constantly threaten me and nonstop. I mean, so remember that? I mean, like, so like I said, let's see it. Let's, let's see you fulfill all of that because I know it's all empty and null and void because I know y'all ain't about nothing. 
Since y'all can do whatever you want, let's see it. You want to be corrupt? Go ahead, because everybody's going to see what you're doing, and then I'm going to put all you fools in prison. Nigga, play with me. <laughs> How about that? How about I'm not playing about nothing? How about uh, all you corrupt officials need to go to prison? Y'all don't do your job. None of you do your job. You're sitting there targeting people like me who are doing better than you, and you're worried about us. I stand up for not just myself. I represent the entire American public. Uh-huh. That's why I tell y'all to be quiet, and what happens? You be quiet. That's why y'all don't like me, right? That's why back in the day you were playing those games where I tell you, keep my ID because you're holding on to my ID. You're harassing me, right? Right? You, you, you're you bringing your other nigger around, right, to come 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 on my grass. Like, like really, bro? You're going you gonna to drive over my grass, and you think that's all good? Like, really? Right? And then I confront y'all to your face, and then you back down. I, I walk in an office, and there's some out of shape, like overweight fool running his mouth about me, who's supposed to be someone I trust, and confronted him and told him reality. I'm not scared of none of y'all. So like I said, the more the merrier, bro. The more the merrier. Anybody want to be against me? Be against me. But just understand when you go against me, you're going to lose. I don't care who y'all are. I'm not scared of none of you. No, you're, you don't run anything because of your, your fake job. What are you talking about? None of you have any authority. What are you talking about, fool? Like, what? Like, y'all is crazy, bro. <laughs> Real talk. You know what I mean? Much less when everybody who do y'all's job, all of you, they all respect me. So I'm going to say it again. The point is, I'm super wealthy right now, right? I just went over, right, things that I have. That's not even an ounce of what I have, right? Like, I just purchased a new duffel bag, bro. I've got my whole power outlet here that I created. I order all my stuff off Timu. Like I said, I'm planning on right around the corner ordering my bat cycle, my scooter. Like, like I said, I, I'm not, I don't have no problems. I'm not doing nothing I'm supposed to do. I'm going to talk. I'm tired of this acting like if I speak, I'm doing something wrong and I'm going to be punished. Yeah, miss me with that. Let's see it. Let's see it. Y'all are talking. I'm going to talk. See, if you shut, if you, if you shut it and be quiet, right, then there's no issue. But as long as people run in their mouth, oh, I'm going to respond with reality, bro. Y'all want to have some kind of battle between truth and lies and delusion and reality? Let's have it because you're going to lose. That's what you're not understanding. I, I, I'm a quiet dude, bro. I'm good. I've just been doing my thing. Like if you mad at me because, because I made what? I made $700 off of that BS and you sitting there complaining whining. Right? Right. Oh, wait. Actually, I made more off of it. Sucker. Oh, and, and because of you being malicious, because of you playing yourself, 20 in the box. Let's see y'all do it. I got 20 people watching me. That's what that means. Catch up, nigga. They say I talk real fast, but if you listen, I ain't got to slow down for you to keep up. Yeah, you got me completely twisted, little nigga. Right? Mm -hmm. I hope you're watching right now, pumpkin. I hope you're watching, sweetie. Yeah, because uh, I got the best of you, fool. Yeah, and I'm laughing at you celebrating. I think you funny as hell, bro. What are you talking about? I eat great. I eat great, bro. Like, I got more food in front of me right here. I had pancakes today. I got homies everywhere I go. They happy to see me. You know what I mean? Like, real, real talk, bro. And you know what's crazy? I almost forgot. My, uh, I almost lost my bicycle today. So it's a good thing that everything went the way it went because it reminded me and I got it. You feel me? So, like I said, I mean... Like I said, I have my level 3A completely proof vest. I'm going to be purchasing level 4 plates around the corner soon because I'm stepping everything up. I've been progressing this entire time. Every day for me is different. I do different things to enjoy myself. Like, dude, no. What you're saying, none of it exists. All I need, literally, is some actual real friends here. I have plenty of friends. It's not about that. But see, I choose my friends. Like, see, you're, you're not acknowledging reality and making sense like again you're, you're acting bro like i travel bro i move around and then i come back home so like i don't stay in touch with people so again all i need is some real friends that want to help me with basic stuff like you know a ride somewhere because like i said i'm way way out of town bro how does that mean that i'm lacking something i've got money I've had money this entire time. I told you all that. I had just made a transfer not too long ago for almost $500. Right now, I've got like almost, what, like 600 in the bank, something like that. I got like 20-something in another cash app y'all don't even know about in stocks. Like, I'm sorry, but what? 
Uh, bro, I'm a, I'm a financial connoisseur, bro. I can get rich off any job. That's what I'm saying. That's why I never worry about minimum wage. I can't be labeled by a job because I can use any job and make millions of dollars. I can work at McDonald's and become a millionaire. So again, how does me fixing my issues and using critical thought and standing up and putting the action behind it, how does that make me what you are? How does that make me lacking something? You see how I put any video out. I started doing shorts just just yesterday, just the other day. It's already getting thousands of views on all my shorts. All of them are up over like four or 500 immediately because I'm famous. So you know what these people really mad about is that all, all the, everybody's paying attention to me and it irks them the attention I get. Again, you received positivity about me. Everyone said, I love that guy. He cool because the other dude sucked. The dude before me was horrible, right? He was a joke, right? He was a joke, nigga, just like you. Oh, by the way, um, good luck because I know that you having a hard time filling that spot because like I said, nobody wants to do that suck of stuff. Nobody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it funny? Right? I mean, come on, bro. All you trying to do is what all you narcs do. You try to sit there and get in a click and then act like, like you're running something, trying to act, like hover around little money. That's little money, nigga. Like I said, I make more money on YouTube than y'all make. And y'all working a nine to five as a slave. You stuck there all day. I'm able to be free and go outside and go in the sun, do what I want, ride my scooter. I'm going to get a new one right around the corner and I'm going to be riding my scooter and making more money than you. Getting paid to stop crime. That's what I do. I'm building a whole corporation conglomerate. I'm building a whole network, bro. We operate above the feds. I'm Batman. I'm building a security company. What are you talking about, fool? See, all y'all think nothing exists unless it's somehow like um, under your branch of your matrix. Like, no, actually, everything in your matrix doesn't exist. Floyd Mayweather's not the best fighter of all time. He's the biggest coward. He's the biggest chicken. Ryan Garcia is not a boxer. He's a mental patient. This is just reality. Do you really believe that those people could, could be able to come close to me in a ring? Then why don't you all accept my challenges? Any of them can step in a ring with me, and I promise you the world will see very quickly in that boxing ring what, what reality is. That not one of these full Conor McGregor couldn't come anywhere close to me. It's not an opinion. I've shown you all my movements on camera. My hands move faster than a human eye can see. There's no way for any human to compete with me. I assure you. That's why I'm so confident, especially in altercations and conflict. I already know what I can do. That's why I was confident in, in, in the jails. What are you talking about? Like I said, I, I went to the 65-man pod. I went to the alpha pod. I held my own everywhere. I didn't put up with nothing from nobody, and I was screaming on those fools, and, and they, were, they were literally being quiet and listening because they had to. I was, I was scaring the bejesus out of niggas in jail. I'm a legend behind the walls, homie. You don't understand. Like They talk about me behind the walls. This, this is Batman, just like the movies, right? You have no idea what's going on. You don't understand. It's just like the movie, like when they're like, Batman is pissed and he's hunting. Like, that's reality, bro. I don't care what you tell yourself, bro. You don't do what I do. Like, come on, bro. Let's just be real, man. You don't come from this walk of life, bro. Like, I analyze criminals. Do you understand? Like, if I wanted, I could spend my time studying criminals. I'm more just about being in the right place at the right time. But, I mean, I could literally study criminals. I could study their habits. And then, like I said, criminals normally expose themselves to me. So I'm made for what I do. So, again, what do you mean? I mean, what's to stop me from becoming a bounty hunter? Nothing. What's to stop me from going back to college if I want? Nothing. Going to college is a waste of time. That's why I'm successful and why you're not. I already own everything. I'm already ultra mega rich. Not because I had anything handed to me. I never did. I literally built all this off, off my own hard work, all of it. And I took all these years proving that. Y'all don't want to talk about reality. 30 in the box. Let's see you do it. So again, uh, no, there's nothing negative over here, man. I eat great food. I eat what I want. I go where I want. I do what I want. Like... Apparently, you mad at reality, little nigga. Apparently, you found out and realized who the man and who the Don Dada and who the boss is, right? Right? Apparently, I don't care about your fake, whack system, and I'm tired of all these whack people, honestly, trying to act like they can tell me what to do. If anyone feels like they can tell me what to do, please try it. Public service announcement. I don't care who you are. I've had enough of that, bro. I'm a 34-year-old, 6 foot 2 to 6 foot 3, 165-pound grown man who's a gangster and literally runs the streets. 
You telling me what to do, any of you, is comical to me. You are hilarious. Like, dude, you see, I don't waste no time, right? Like I said, I confront immediately and I bring reality and I prove my points immediately. I don't even talk until I prove my point. So now I've proven my point that I son all these niggas, that I do whatever I want with them, like I told you. And I won't let you play victim. I'm too smart. So again, all this accomplishments, I was in Vegas with over 60 grand and one day I went down to five grand and I took a risk, went risk going to 5k and I went back to 23 grand and one day off blackjack. I'm an actual genius, my nigga. I outdid any legend who ever gambled there and the ones who think they're legends, they're all banned from the casinos. I'm not. What do you mean? I took over Vegas for two months. Took it over. I ran everything. Ran the streets. Just like I run your valley. What do you mean? You, you're you not me. I was all through McAllen, bro. I, I run everything in Jaguars. Real talk. I'll just tell you what it is straight up. Like, Christina knows who I am. I ran everything in Jaguars and Jags. I ran everything in, in the Stilettos and McAllen. Like, real talk. Ran everything. Like, I run everything, bro. Yes. Meaning, like, when I walk up in there, I'm the boss because I make money because I got money because I got bread. That's who I am. I'm the rich white boy that gets what he wants and does what he wants. Like, what? Christina knows the reality of who I am. And all I do is everything I do is by the book and legal. All of it. Right? So when you got me and I'm a grown man, why would people try to act like they're testing me? That's not wise, bro. I'd advise you don't ever do that again. Why would they get on a phone and act like they're disrespecting me? I've, you know, I've never had a nigga do that, ever. Like, niggas ain't that smart, but I've never had a nigga or a white boy, much less, think that they're going to get on my phone and talk crazy to me or think they're going to play with me. I'm from the country, fool. I, I went to college in North Carolina on the coast of Shalot at North Brunswick, right, university, man. When I'd show up on the campus, literally, literally, literally fools that thought they was gangster would be like, bro, Tyrese crazy. They were all scared of me. My energy just brings it out of people. Like I said, they were scared of me in Irving, Texas. Do you understand what just happened in Irving, Texas? Go look at YouTube. Some crazy stuff just happened in Irving, Texas, bro. They don't play in Irving. Like I said, I had to hold a whole uh, whole house down by myself. When when I knew what the white boys were trying to do, they were trying to come in. Yeah, they were trying to break into to the home I was in when I was paying rent. And I was literally having to hold that down by myself. There was multiple of them. You know you know what happened? Them cowards waited till I left because I had to leave sometime. I had to go to the gym to work out. Them fools, them fools was cowards and they left. Oh, they even came to the door too and tried to slick talk me like, oh, you know, tie this. I said, yeah, y'all can scram. I said, here I am. I'm in the house. What's up? What you going to do? And then boys kept it pushing and walked the other way. And there was about five of them. White boys. Big white boys. Not like you, little nigga. I'm talking about big white boys in urban I didn't back down to. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're black, white, Mexican, yellow. I don't care if you're an alien. I don't care if you're a whale or a shark. I don't fear none of you. Like I said, and all you fools who've been talking crazy on YouTube saying my name, it is what it is, man. You want to do that fake talk like it's cute? Ah, when we, when we cross paths. Okay, well, you go ahead and do that man because see what you don't get is i don't do all that talking see i skip all that part because i don't got to do all that there's no point in me talking why am i going to tell my enemies my actions in the first place or what i'm going to do that's fine you go ahead and think whatever you want think i'm the animal to play with think that you're going to get anything out of a megalodon shark a, a species that's damn near extinct i'm the last real nigga left and really believe and tell yourself that i'm not who i am please do that Come on, bro. These are the dumbest enemies I've ever seen, nigga. Smart enemies don't do that. Smart enemies never underestimate the enemy. They understand and they study who they are and they acknowledge who they are. Like, okay, this dude ain't nothing to be played with. Because that's reality. I mean, what are you talking about? What have I not accomplished in my life, bro? When I was 12 years old, they had colleges going up to my parents trying to recruit me for shortstop at Westminster College, the same college A-Rod went to who's not the highest paid shortstop in the game because the MLB does not pay their players. Again, they are all slaves just like you. Yes, I'm calling you a slave peasant. Well, get over it. Is it not reality? I don't have to report to a 9 to 5 every day, every day nigga or white boy. I make money on here. I got 50 in the box. Let's see y'all do it. And those numbers are genuine. I got more than that, but they always lie. So again, 
I don't care who listens. I don't care what y'all do. I don't care what y'all work together. Y'all don't scare me, nigga. I'm right here. Real talk. I mean, when so like I said, they were trying to recruit me to the college A-Rod went to for the same position, shortstop. I'm actually better at it than A-Rod. Yes, literally. And I have quicker reactions than any human being. Like I said, my hands move faster than the human eye can perceive. You can watch my short videos and see this is proven. I'm promoting my content on more avenues within these different social media websites. So my numbers are, should be growing, hopefully, right? They're already high enough. Y'all gave up on YouTube. I didn't. I can remain consistent. And like I said, I'm the only one left on here that's really making real money. I have a business. So this is the thing. I've learned about these people to just stay calm and not react. But at the same time, I'm not going to do that all the time because I'm not going to tolerate their games. I'm not going to do that. But like I said, what I mean is I understand if they're attacking me, what they're trying to do is they always have an agenda. Their agenda is to just cause damage to me in any way. And what I have, they're really mad at the things that I've accumulated. So number one, you're never going to mess up my situation because I own everything and I built it and I paid cash and I created it and Texas law. So there's nothing you can do about that, right? Number two, I'm always defend myself. I'm always defend like, like everyone and stand up for everyone like I have this entire time because you're the one who's attacking everyone, right? I'm having to stand up and defend everyone. Then number three, I'm going to continue to be the good man that I am, Right? So what do you mean? Like you people really keep typing. You type in like, like all this fake stuff. What is that going to do to me? You want conversation? I'm good, bro. I'm not talking to y'all about nothing. I'm sorry, but what? You think conversation is on your side? Not at all, bro. I'm linguistic master, right? Y'all be weird. So like I said, what they really want is to damn my business. I'm here. So they're worried about the channel. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to get me upset because they want the channel to go bye-bye and they want me to go bye-bye, right? You need to check the readings, by the way, too, because if you're doing all that witchcraft right now, you really need to listen to the reading, what it said is going to happen if you do that witchcraft because the reading said what was going to happen. It said reality. So keep that up, right? Keep up the fake spell work and all that, kitchen witches, because you ain't real, right? You fake as hell. So... Like I said, I mean, they want to damage my business. So me, I got to be smart and level-headed always, and I got to make real sound, smart decisions. And then y'all don't understand. For me, it's easy. I just turn it on, and that's it. Like, I, I, I'm like a mechanism, bro. That's what y'all don't get. It's easy for me, man. I, I told y'all, bro, like, I get the best of everyone. I own everybody. Real talk. I don't play. I will make y'all look like a fool. All that, uh, that nerd nature, yeah, that's not an answer for me, dude. Listen, your entire generation has a, 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 your entire bloodline is basically shattered. You, you don't even have your, your real DNA. You don't stand for anything. You weren't raised by real men or real women. So you're a noob generation that doesn't act grown. All of you are adults, but you're not really grown. You don't act grown. What would you ever teach me or tell me? You're mad at me for all those reasons because I'm not Generation X. I'm not a millennial. As much as they want to lie and categorize me with y'all, I'm not a millennial. I have nothing to do with y'all. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is this. Inevitably, Christina and I are going to be sitting on, I want you to listen carefully, haters. 56 in the box. Let's see you do it. $377,000. Let me do the math. Plus $47,500. <laughs> oh, we about to be filthy rich all over again. And I've already got all the equity. You see why equity is smart? So what do you mean when I tell you I invest in equity and you say, I can see that? What does that mean? You see what I'm saying? You're trying to kick someone while they're not down. You see what I'm saying? Like, I haven't been down this entire time. Like I told you, you're not listening, fool. I'm literally way far away from everything like normal. That's y'all's fault. That's all the, the, the same people that you're connected to. Why didn't y'all build anything around that people need for basic necessities? Not everyone drives. That's common sense. The people take Lyft and Ubers all over the country. You're talking down on the entire nation and world, not just me. Not everyone drives, bro. Most people who are smart don't want to drive. See, you have to deal with tickets. You have to deal with gas. You have to deal with all those expenses, right? I don't want to drive. I'm all carred out, bro. Like I told you, you got mad and triggered and pressed because I told you the truth. I used to own 14 cars. Right now I own, let me see, one. There's another one in Lytle I need to try to pick up. If I can, two, three, four, five. I own about five luxury vehicles right now. Why are you talking about a vehicle to me if you don't know me? If you don't know my situation, 
If, if you're not going to make any sense and acknowledge the details of reality, why would you talk to me about a vehicle? I'm just asking you a basic question. I just paid for more hotspot data. That's 10 bucks. <laughs> I paid for delivery, right? I get the passes and everything. That's another, what, 10 bucks, and then every meal costs, costs God knows. I mean, every meal I eat is about over 20, 30 bucks. So you can't say I'm lacking money, right? So if I'm not lacking money, why is this not plugging in? Hold on. So I'm not lacking in money, right? Oh, uh, maybe it unplugged. Oh, I probably unplugged it. Let me, let me fix that. Hold up. I got such a nice setup here, too. Like, real tall. That might be part of why they're jealous, too, honestly. I, I can see, I mean, when I really think about it and go back and think, I'm like, I can see why people would be mad. I got the charger for the scooter still right here. Right? I got everything. That means when I order the next one, which I'm already in the negotiation on that, right? Um, all right, so now it should be plugged. So you can't tell me I'm lacking in money because I'm not, like I told you, I've had money this entire time, way more money than you. I just got done running, running a food truck, my own restaurant, and I was making more money than judges and lawyers. So what it is is you're really just mad because I'm better than you. You're mad because what I'm saying is facts and you know that I'm above you. I was an independent contractor on taxes. Do you want the receipts of this? You want to go look it up? Ask them, bro. Ask them. Like, have them tell you why. See, that's the thing. The things you say... You talking about your problem is something to something. Well, what that doesn't make any sense. So your problem is something that doesn't exist because you want to just say something that you don't even believe. Like I said, you and your feelings, nigga. That's what y'all do. Y'all got hurt feelings and 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 hurt people, hurt people. Like <clears throat> I'm not in my feelings, bro. You know, there's no way for you to 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 hurt my feelings. I'm not in my feelings. I don't operate with y'all in my feelings because you're not my friend. So like I said, stay in your feelings. Right? Like, dude, that, that's like this other clown that, that I just ran into, right? I saw all you clowns, bro. Y'all gave me access to see all you clowns. It's hilarious. I'm right in your face, and you niggas look like you've seen a ghost, right? Because you the same people stalking me, right, fool? And you're going to go to prison, too. All y'all fools going to prison. All of you. I don't care. There's lawyers in this. There's DAs involved. There's, there's people who work for the DA involved. They're all going to prison. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> like, there's a lot of people in this neighborhood going to prison behind what they did with me. Yeah, y'all the ones focusing on me. You sure you want to focus on me? Because, I mean, you're the one putting yourself in prison. Maybe you should not focus on me. Like, maybe y'all should really just be terrified and just, like, go the other way and leave me alone. Since that's my basic rights anyway is to leave me alone. I'm not focused on y'all. Y'all ain't doing nothing. Right? Like, what? Then you got that other fake fool that, that, that sat there muttering stuff under his breath. I got that on tape. Remember? That was being fake to my face and then he was fake again like he acts like he's cool. Right? And then he admitted to he was committing a crime too and then he admitted to that on tape. Like y'all is not smart, bro. Y'all is simple. I don't care how many of you are, there are. I don't care. All y'all get together. All y'all talk. Like I said, it's just like the movie. Y'all ain't got no answer for Batman. I know why you hold your meetings in broad day. <laughs> I know why you're afraid to go out at night. The Batman. See, Batman has showed Gotham its true colors, unfortunately. <laughs> right? And if things continue, little... uh. What does he call him? What's what's his name? Noble or something like that? Like Gary? Like little Gary here won't have a nickel for his grandma. <laughs> and he's like, enough with the clown. He gets pissed. Right? And then he, listen. And as for the, the TV's plan, Batman has no jurisdiction. He'll find him and he'll make him squeal. I know the squealers when I see them. That's exactly what you're, what I'm living. That is my life. It's, it's not a question of if I'm Batman. I'm literally the only real Batman that's ever existed. It's so real, it's unreal. You know how real it is? It's so real that anyone who disrespects me, yeah, um, you like, <laughs> Batman ain't putting up with it. He coming to confront direct. That's how real it is. 
See, you niggas don't get it. When people take my name, an actual gangster that really doesn't play, and you try to test me and play with it like, oh, it's cute. I want to piss him off. I want to test him. All right, because you want to set me up. Y'all want to do it while you're behind a keyboard and you want to be anonymous. Like I said, you want to be anonymous. Like I said, your plan this whole time has been to try to put me in prison to silence me and make me be quiet. It ain't going to happen. No, I'm not doing it. I absolutely refuse. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you make up. I don't care all you clowns can get together. No, I follow the rules. If you're talking, I'm going to talk. I don't care where we at or who I'm talking to. I'm not going to put up with your BS and your games. It's that simple, and I follow the rules. That's why I videotape everything and make sure everything is on record. And if not, I'm going to start recording audio. I'm going to make sure that I have everything documented. So like I said, just remember, any of y'all want to talk to me, hey, I'm going to make sure that I'm recording. I'm going to be recording everything on video. I will have the camera right in your face. Yes, I will have a camera in y'all's face. I don't care who it is. For my safety, I want to make sure that that the whole public sees what y'all doing. I don't care who you are. So now do something because y'all ain't going to do nothing. You're going to keep that happy self moving, right? And you're going to stay the hell away from me because none of y'all scare me. That's what you're going to do because mm-hmm. y'all are punks. What are you talking about? Like I said, I, I, I'm way taller and stronger than all of you. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're talking about, fool. Y'all yeah, go run and get the toughest people you want. Ain't nobody as tough as me. Real talk. Like... Bro, I'm Batman, bro. I really do have an answer for everything. You narcs just run your mouth. An answer for everything is an answer for nothing. So let's do the $377,000. And this this is, I mean, it's just, it's a blessing. It's amazing. Real talk. Look, let's see here. $377,000 and then $47,500, which is great because that's going to give us more than enough to work with primarily. You got to understand, like, it's going to be easier for us to manage and save our money, too. That's $424,500. So to the fool, the white boy, and your friend that looks like the the Seinfeld guy that looks like, uh, I think he's like the dad of one of them or something, whatever, the Seinfeld guy, the chunky guy in Seinfeld, that's how he looks. And you were talking about the gym looking flabby as hell, like, bro, you need to go to the gym. You need to pay me to train you so I can get you in shape. Real talk. Real talk. You know what I mean? By the way, as a matter of fact, I'll still do it for you if you want. If you want to pay me to train you, to actually get you in shape, you let me know. How are you going to be that two-faced, bro, and act one way to someone's face, like I said, like just like your homeboy, and then get on the phone and act like someone completely different? You a fool. <laughs> talking about, this nigga talking about, oh, well, I have to work. Um, I'm sorry, did you hear how much money I just told you I'm a, like we're about to get? Me and my girlfriend, Christina, it ain't me, it's us. Right? Do you understand what I just said? I just said four hundred and twenty-four thousand and five hundred dollars. Right? I'm a nigga who I've made millions every year. I have receipts for all of this, bro. That's why I was targeted because all of you people are in on it, just like you are now. So nothing's changed. It's the same thing over and over again. Like I said, keep it moving. Right? Don't come near me. Right? Don't come on my property ever again. Right? No, I'm not playing at all about nothing. I don't like y'all. Stay away from me. Quit with this acting like, oh yeah, we're just we're just wandering around. Oh yeah, we're just uh, we're just finding ourselves bothering you. Don't do that, and don't expect me right to to care. I'm not I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm not doing nothing for y'all, fool. Y'all is a waste of my time. I'm tired of y'all sitting there with your games and your antics. Like no, dude, and believe me, I know what I'm doing. So like I said, that's what me and Christina are going to be sitting on, $424,500, right? For all you Mexicans out there, Mexicans. Dollars, $424,500, and I'm a dude who's made millions every year, and in equity I own billions to trillions, literally, and I'm barely getting started. And I'm actually Batman, so I spend my time being Batman. That's why I go out at night, usually to Brownsville, and I protect and I stop crime. There hasn't been much crime since I started this. I want them to really find me the statistics and go over it because I promise you there isn't because I have criminals shook and scared of Batman. I'm really Batman. I go all over Brownsville, bro. You can ask anyone. That's why they tell on these Reddit posts, oh, I saw him on Alton Glore. Oh, I saw him on Ruben Torres. Oh, I saw him on Boca Chica. Batman is real. You understand how much work it takes? You understand how much money that takes? Do you understand that I pay for my Ubers? I pay for, for all my expenses. I pay for my Ubers. I pay for my bicycles. 
I hate everything that I create. So how would someone tell me that anything is bad or negative about what I'm doing when I'm running several businesses and I'm having to budget those businesses on my own and I'm not really making, I'm not cr budgeting, I'm creating a limitless budget. I mean, I just went out and stopped crime the other night. I went and did it the last weekend. Like, what do you mean? How would you tell me that I'm lacking when you're the one who has me busy because I'm helping you? I mean, I don't need that little money. I can make my own money, number one. But I'm helping you and you got me preoccupied and busy doing that suck of stuff. And then you're going to pretend like I care. Like, bro, I don't want to do that anyway. It's a waste of my time, number one. Number two, if you have me preoccupied, you specifically, you, you're responsible how would I have time to go do things like get what I need when I'm that far from Brownsville from town? That's just common sense stuff, right? I, I don't ask nobody for nothing. You wanted to pretend because that's what you narcs do. So you volunteer, then you try to act like you're holding something over my head. Bro, you're super petty. Because, I mean, number one, like I said, I mean, you're not even registering that like, I mean, everything's all good un until you start doing what you're doing. Like, you, you're the one, all these things you all do on your own. Y'all literally basically just like do it to yourself. You just operate in a circle and you just keep on trying to force things like, bro, I know you mad as hell, bro. You probably go home and throw temper tantrums. You probably throwing one right now listening to this. Yeah, like, like I punked you out. You, 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 I sunned you. I'm going to sun every single one of you niggas. He's a punk. Like, come on, bro. You, you, you expect. I'm a public figure, bro. I get paid to speak. Okay? Like, what are you talking about, dude? I, I try to be nothing but nice to you, fool. What I was saying, the other fool that I ran into, like, I got his number. I be I text him, like, one time. He don't really talk. Like, he was like, welcome back. What do you mean, welcome back? See, this is the thing. People go off their perception of things. There's no welcome back, nigga. I've been here forever. Just like all you fools said the same thing, like, oh, I don't know you. You don't know me because I don't hang out with suckers. You don't know me because I don't know you because I don't like you. I'm not in your little discords and your little group chats while y'all sit there and literally talk mess about Batman, right? And I know about that too because I don't like you because I'm not your damn friend. That's why. Because none of you are anybody because you're broke and you're a peasant. Yes, all of you. Now do something. You mad now? I'll, I'll, I'm not going to just disrespect one person. I'm going to disrespect all y'all. I'm going to let you know that I run everything here and you're nobody since you wanted to actually have the audacity to try to treat me this way and play with me. Okay, cool. Now it's my turn, nigga. Yeah, and guess what? Nobody's exempt. You all get the same treatment from me. I'm, I'm telling you, I promise you I'm the meanest dude you've ever met. I have no heart. I have no heart beat. I have a soul. I don't, I don't have no heart. Not when it comes to y'all. No mercy, no compassion, no nothing, no remorse. I don't like none of you. I can't stand you fools, okay? Literally, you people, the most petty, like most Nazi people I've ever met. Like, why are you trying to act bougie, bro? There ain't nobody here around here who got any money. None of y'all. There ain't none of y'all who rich. All y'all fools ain't nobody. All y'all broke. Please miss me with this. How you gonna claim, yeah, people rich, and then, oh, they can't pay their bills and everybody's complaining about it? What? How are you going to sit there and go, yeah, you know, people rich. And then I ask you about people I went to high school with that was always on a substance and always high. And you sit there and say, and I know you listen. I hope you listen and run and tell that nigga, right? Tell that to your boss. And then I ask you about him because I went to high school with him and, and he was cool. Like I thought he was all right. I liked him until he actually, he did the same thing. He threatened me and, and the whole, and my whole entire team at a basketball game in high school. And at that point I quit dealing with him. Them and he was hanging out with Bradley, right? So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like real talk. Like, bro, y'all trying to act like y'all, like this is what they do in the Valley. They all these families and then they act like they run something. Okay, well, I mean, how more direct can I be? I'm scared. Y'all have power. You're this, you're that, right? Okay, well, I mean, the dude I went to high school's name was Mitch McDermott. Okay. Um, in high school, we were kind of friends. Like we were all right. We had classes together. Like he was a cool dude. I, I like him. I don't have nothing against him. I think he's a cool dude, but don't run there. And, and, but supposedly those are some of the families that own all like, supposedly they're trying to say like the neighborhood or whatever. Right. Which I don't believe at all. I mean, that's, that's hilarious to me. I don't believe it at all. Literally like not at all. And even if so, it doesn't mean anything. And I'm approved to you right now. Why? 
So you said, yeah, you know, they're all the rich families, the rich people, right? And then I ask you, well, what happened to Mitch? And you say, oh, well, he's in prison. And then you, y'all answer your own damn question because you sound like fools sitting there running your mouth, uh, talking fugazi, right? Uh, making up lies, trying to talk above your above your damn head, right? Writing checks you can't cash, and like you narcs always do. And then you answer your own question and go. One of them said. One of them said the, the other liar. Uh, what did What did you say? You said, uh, "Oh yeah, why didn't they bail him out? Why don't they bail him out?" You just answer your own question because they don't have any money because none of them families have any money, so. I mean, why are you whining about me investing in equity if you're going to then make basically the same claim and claim that they own all of this this land in equity, right? Like, you really expect me to believe that? You really believe, you want me to, to believe that a fool came from Scotland and that he just, like, like and number one, that, that that's an accomplishment? Like, bro, like, people can make money in other countries. That's what I plan to do. Go to countries like Scotland and Dubai and make millions of dollars, and I'm going to do it with Christina. Well, that's easy. That's not an accomplishment. That's that's clearly inheritance. So why aren't y'all whining about them because everything they do is inheritance, right? So what do you mean? Like like I know damn well you don't. He doesn't own that that those families do not own all of these properties. And then it kind of seems like it comes out in the truth. Like oh okay, they just own like this one little thing, and it's probably just a company and a company name. You don't own the building. I can basically guarantee it because it's just common sense. Like no bro, nobody got money like that. Like I understand you want to be a snob and all that, but like if you got money like that, like you'd be doing a lot more and you damn sure wouldn't be letting Mitch sit in prison. Okay? So then the problem is these people think they gangsta. So then they think, "Oh, well, you know, nobody's going to open their mouth and say the truth about us. I don't talk mess. I say the truth just like I told you to your face." I say the truth. You the one talking mess that you can't back up that doesn't exist. All of y'all. What are you talking about? Bro, you are not the rich person. I am. You didn't you could never walk in my shoes. I was targeted. What are you not understanding? Like meaning I was targeted by everyone, corrupt officials, I was targeted by all y'all, I was targeted by everyone possible, they tried to lie and claim a fake common law, I had to prove that was a lie, and I did, right, because I'm always in the right, and I know my facts, and I document everything, and I didn't let them take a dime, and they completely lost, what do you mean, if you check my history, every time I've had a problem, I took it to the street, like, real talk, like, bro, like, what are you saying, and then y'all try to use that as an excuse to, to try to play victim. Which is it? Am I, am I aggressive or am I calm? You're, you're contradicting yourself. You're saying I'm soft on one hand, but then I'm too hard and tough on the other. Man, make up your mind, bro. Right? Because the fact is I'm everything. I'll always be everything because I'm amazing. And, you know, what makes me is not my material possessions. I'm not materialistic. I could care less about money. You know what makes me? My heart, my spirit, and my soul. And the love that I offer everybody, just like I said, just like I was good to all of you. And you want to sit here and get on these BS and these games, grown people. And you think I got time, bro. You the one I'm getting on my phone. I'm not contacting you. I'm not talking to you fools. There's nothing to talk about. I'm not worried about what you're doing. I'm worried about what I'm doing. I don't need nothing from you. I helped you out. I don't need you. Like what? Bro, I'm Gucci. I'm good, man. And, pe and and God takes malicious people like you, number one, and gives them their karma on, on, a, on, a, on a cold, hard dish like he's doing to you. <laughs> That's what you deserve. And God takes people like you and then uses your malicious stuff and basically has you play yourself where you end up helping me. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I'm filthy rich in equity. So what does that even mean when you, when you try to make a snide remark and I'm supposed to care? Like, again, I don't allow people to mutter things to me that are disrespectful. Yeah, you don't know me at all, nigga. But, but you know now, right? So now you know, I, yeah, I don't play that, bro. Watch your mouth. So like I said, you go do that with these punks, not with me. So like I said, I mean, it is what it is. I think it's hilarious. But yeah, you said that. Like I told you, I invest in equity. Uh, oh yeah, I can see that. What does that mean? I can see that. What does that mean? I'm wearing 530 on my wrist. I mean, you could say watching a jewelry is equity, but not really. So what do you mean? Apparently you can't see it all and you're blind and you need your eyes checked because, I mean... If I'm wearing $530 on my wrist, if I literally came down here from Austin, 
right? Because I travel and I, I do my thing everywhere and care less what people here think who are all sheltered and never leave the valley and they all want to be me because they're all a bunch of a bunch of nobodies and, and unaccomplished nothings, right? So like I said, when I came down, I was sitting on like 11000 to $12,000, don't worry about my business. My business is personal and my business. Don't worry about the fact that people have been trying to hold me back since day one and I didn't allow it. Don't worry about the fact that I'm bettering my situation, nigga. Just stay mad about it. It's none of your business, though. We're not discussing anything. So again, when you say that, I can see that. How would you see that if I just, if I, what I'm wearing on me is a level 3A completely proofed vest, Okay. So clearly I'm, I'm, I'm real, right? Clearly I'm, I'm, I'm really Batman. That cost over a grand, every single one of them. You could look it up right now, right? It all cost over a grand every single time. So that's a grand Then you got 530. So that's, that's basically every day I'm wearing over like two grand on me as Batman. And it ain't nothing to me, but but I'm not a hustler and a street nigga. My my armor cost about three racks, three grand. It's pure steel armor. You've been seeing me this entire time, nigga. You know exactly who I am. You see my channel. Quit playing, nigga. You're just jealous. Like, bro, my point is you could have said that beforehand. I don't care that you jealous. I made a fool out of you and I stunted on you. So you a hater. You labeled a hater now and you've been dismissed and sunned and exposed. See, I'm not you, nutty. I'm not Nutword TV. I'm not you niggas on here. I don't do fronting and a bunch of fake talking. Yeah, you, you, you see what it is now. No, I don't play no games, bro. I'm really about this respect stuff, right? So, like I said, I'm going to say it real quick, clear, man, for all y'all. Y'all want to play these games? Cool. No problem. Let's play. Because uh, me and Christina are going to be sitting on over $424,500. Okay. Now you got to understand, like, it is what it is. I'm not going to go into details, but like I said, it's 377,000, then it's 47,500. 47,500 is more than enough money to do everything we need to do. Okay. So you understand, I'm a man with real money and real power always because I'm blessed by the universe. Like, I, what did I tell y'all? The universe will always provide for me, the universe and God is always going to protect me. They're not going to let you do these things. That I truly believe and I know. So like I said, I'm the divine being. I'm divinely protected. I'm starting to really believe it now. I'm starting to. I want to. It's just what I'm going through has been so horrible. You know, it's hard. It's hard to keep faith. And I have. And I, I'm, I'm, I believe that they're going to reward me for that. They've been saying that. They've been telling me that. Like I'm directly connected to source. That's what y'all don't get. So when you mess with someone like me, I'm a chosen one. And that means I talk to God. I got God. I'm like, I sit at the right hand throne of God. I actually sit on the throne. Like when I do pass, I'll literally, I'm guaranteed to go to heaven. Not just go to heaven, but sit on a throne next to God in heaven. Because I'm not you devils. I'm not trying to overthrow God. You see what I'm saying? I earn my rightful spot. You feel me? I have to suffer and go through hell on this planet for a reason because my reward is, is even greater, uh, you know, and, and I can't even say that because my reward is great here. And like I said, my reward is Christina. That's how much she means to me. Like I said, fool, it ain't my problem. You can't get women, bro. I'm not on that, man. I've, I've done, I've done, did all that, bro. I've had my fun. I've done my thing. I'm not worried about that. And honestly, genuinely, I wish that I was with nothing, nobody but Christina, but I'm going to say it again. Like, I love my girlfriend. I, I'll tell you straight up, I love you. And that's just the truth. I'm a good dude, man. I, I, I love everybody. I help everybody. I don't know who you're talking to. My thing is, that's my point. I'm not going to let nobody come at me with no fake energy and keep running their mouth. You get around me, don't ever run your mouth, bro. Negative and be arguing and yelling. No, nah, that's like, even when I stay in hotels, like if people start hitting the walls and stuff, I'll go knock on their door and address them. I'm that type. And I don't care who you are. You, you, you people, a lot of you, the problem is a lot of you, you think you're crazy. Like, nah, you haven't seen crazy. I'm telling you, it don't get no crazier than me. I assure you. And you, you continue to see this, right? Proven right in front of you. You continue to find this out that I'm not kidding. No, like, trust me, I'm about it, bro. I don't take no losses. I'm willing to lose everything I have every day. That's why I'm so good at going to war because my life is a war. Because I'm willing to lose everything. You're not. 
I'm willing to pay the ultimate price, whatever that may be for me. I want everything that's coming to me. You're not because you're a coward. You see, you're not understanding. When I call you a coward, there is nothing worse than that. And you have now proven that you are a sniveling coward. So how would a sniveling coward, nigga, this is me completely epically owning you in front of everybody, nigga, and I know you're listening. How would a sniveling coward tell me anything that I have anything negative going on in my life when clearly I don't because I'm the brave heart? No, I stood up to you. I stand up to all you punks. So no, that's not negative. That's a positive. I would never want to be like you, bro. Like seriously, bro. Like you think I want to be a four eyes? Just being real. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not you four eyes. Okay. So I mean, you, you got to really understand. Like I got big, beautiful brown Hispanic Mexican eyes. I'm half Mexican, nigga. Yeah. Like nah, bro. Miss me with all this games, bro. Like no. The reason why y'all are obsessed and you're doing all this stalking is because I'm an empath and y'all are narcissists. Y'all do this everywhere I go. They did this in Austin. I told y'all they did the same thing in Austin. I told y'all they sent the psycho narc to try to work with me, the girl, and I folded the plot because the plan was to set me up. She assaulted me and I did nothing. I did nothing. I didn't do anything in, in retaliation, nothing, because that's the type of person I am. I'm a very calm, collected customer. I already know the drill, and especially when it comes to women. But I'm not going to just put up with what you say verbally, like verbally, I'm going to speak back, but like I would never be aggressive. And it's not because of repercussions It's because that's just who I am, period. Like I didn't even have anything against her. It's her who has the chip on her shoulder. And I'm I'm like that lot. I'm planning on taking it over. Me and Christina going to go back and put a food truck in that lot. And we're going to do business right in front of that narc psychopath. Mm -hmm. Make millions of dollars and flaunt every day our money and our bread. That's what I want to do, just to make you mad and make a fool out of you. You don't get it. I take things really personal. I'm basically gang bred. I let nothing go. I will get super personal. You think you're petty? I'm way more petty. But see, I do things in person. I don't get on these computers. That's why y'all don't are mad because you can't get my attention. I'm not going to talk to you. No, I see individuals. I see people. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see people. No, I, I talk in person. I, I, I just wait. I wait. I keep it all bottled up. I'm going to keep it all bottled up inside. I'm not going to run my mouth to you. I'm not going to get mad. I'm going to let you keep talking and really thinking that you can get online and, and, and keep harassing me. And I'm going to let you think that, right? That's what I do, right? It is what it is, man. There's always more than one way of getting at anybody. Ain't none of y'all exempt. Real talk. I mean, that's the truth. I mean, with the things y'all doing, I mean, nah, bro, what you doing ain't cool, bro. Hell no, nah, it ain't cool. That's the real truth. Like, nah, bro, to be doing all this evil and think like, oh, we're all, it's all just good. We're all safe. Not at all. Nobody's safe, nigga. Real talk. That's what needs to be said. So, like I said, you do evil. I mean, expect repercussions. You do evil. You do atrocities and attacks on me. Expect repercussions. And no, bro, it's always an eye for an eye. And it's always worse than that. There's never a we take anything over here. I don't put up with nothing. People mess with me. I'm messing right back. That's how my daddy raised me. He taught me to you know what back. Now what's up? Because mm -hmm. now I'm bleed back. Yeah, but y'all can't handle me when I bleep, right? Right? Just like in the bedroom, nigga. Right? Just like all you narcs, right? They can't handle me. Okay. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not you. I'm not your delusion and, and the testament you would like to press onto me. And every time I speak publicly that's proven every time anyone even talks to me or says more to me that's proven i'm not here to be a mr nice guy anymore there's no mr nice guy i'm not here to be a goody two shoes if you disrespected me online and we cross paths i'm going to confront you so i would suggest that all of you run and hide yes you should be running you should have been running years ago i suggest that all of you run and hide because nothing i've said am i playing about nothing ever Everything I said is real, so what do you mean? You know nothing's funny about it, nigga. I got niggas running in the street, nigga. I'm running you niggas off blocks. What are you talking about? I don't know what you talking about, bro. Like, honestly, bro, I'm really showing everybody mercy. I'm showing a lot of y'all mercy. I'm really being nice, my nigga. Because, like, the things y'all doing are on another level, bro. Number one, you can't even treat a human being the way that all of you have treated me and not expect me to just, like, turn into a complete psychopath. And I haven't even done that. 
You're literally doing it on purpose. That's what you all want to pretend. They're running a program on me of narc abuse to try to turn me into a complete psychopath like them. And I'm so strong and good hearted that I'm just turning into a more pure good person. Do you understand how strong you have to be to be in my shoes and to do that? I was never disrespectful to any of these people. I was never even slightly mean or, or anything. I was nothing but nice. I said, hey, like we can talk direct. All these people do the same thing. They just start running their mouth on phones and the internet. Bro, that is not the way to go with me. And, and now you all know, don't ever do that again. Ever. I'm telling you. If, so now you know if you people get on my phone and you're harassed and you're talking crazy man about what you're gonna do and you're also tough and you even call me a name bro understand now you know what comes with that right now you know no i don't have to put up with it right just like i didn't in green bay and they're gonna pay me that 800 dollars back too they owe me nigga mm -hmm. and the corrupt official is gonna go to prison too yep mm -hmm. no they names are on all over that case they names are on it right so they go to prison Real talk, if I get your legal name, you're going to prison. It's that simple, and they can't hide the names. Everything that y'all involved in is documented. Yep, and you can't you can't hide the records. My lawyer can make make all y'all give up the records and come up off the records. Mm-hmm. No, all y'all going to prison. Real talk. And I see y'all get your karma every day, and I laugh at you. Y'all want to cause me stress? Nah, not happening. All right, so that's not even the end of the show. What I want to do now is I want to take it to the next channel, right? The one I'm building that I want to create as another source of income because I'm a business connoisseur and I'm a boss, right? And it's called I Am The Only Real Batman. You can search it right here on YouTube. And I want you all to meet me over there because over there I get to play my tunes and I do like the real show, all right? I don't know how much I'm going to be talking. I'm going to see if I can get TJ on the line. He said he would talk, but he always kind of disappears and does weird stuff. So. We'll see what's up. So like I said, I'm going to keep making money. I'm going to keep on doing my short videos. I'm going to keep creating content. There's no way for you all and your 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 lies and your just all your career being against me. There's still no way for you to throw a wrench in the works of anything I'm doing. I'm good. Learn Texas law. Everything's a little bit. I did my job straight. And I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not answering to you. And I have a lot planned for what I'm doing next. And I'm planning on really just having some fun. So... That's all I really have to say, right? All right, let's join me in another channel. I am the only real Batman. I think I proved my point, white boy.